And we are here live. Welcome everybody to Towers and Gods episode 53, aka the last episode of 2022. Super exciting. Thank you all so, so much for being here. Uh, we, we are live. We're, we're here and uh, we're not going to have any crashes or anything because it's the, it's the last episode. I shouldn't have. Changed. We are live with, uh, we have Isaiah's Jong. Let's go. Everyone, welcome to the last episode. The last 2022 of Towers and Gods. Full of all the shenanigans you've come to know and love. Let's go. Let's freaking Bravo. go. We, we have Milios as Brack, Double B Bronson. You know, I would just like to start out by congratulating my plate. I haven't seen it yet, but I know it's going to be immaculate. <laughs> and you know, I would like to dedicate the uh, the, the the song "Loving You" to it. You know, me and you played forever. You know, until <laughs> you out and I need to get seconds. <laughs> okay, excellent, excellent. Uh, we have Sun Wu as Wu. Yo, what's up, guys? So I just want to make it clear that I'm going to do my utmost to make sure that Bug does not ruin this event for everybody, all right? I saw him buy that that bomb. All right, I saw, I clocked that, all right? And so I'm gonna have some contingency plans in place. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, all right, you'll keep us safe. You'll keep everyone safe, fair enough. We have Hannah as Eden. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the final stream of 2022. Will Joe leave it on a cliffhanger? Will we suffer through the first of the year only to be met back with absolute chaos with the final test? Who will live? Who will die? And who will have a happy holidays, which I hope all of you and chat and the cast does. Yay! Beautiful, beautiful. Couldn't say it better myself. Thank, and thank, we thank, have thank. other Joe as Damien Frog. The last episode of 2022 which means after this joe's gonna release my family and i can spend <laughs> christmas with them finally oh, i can no. see them once again <sighs> hey other joe we're your have, family now so what are you talking say, about Joe, <laughs> the fact that you kidnapped my parents <laughs> Wait, you're taking it too far. You're started. taking it too far, Joe. The insinuation say, was enough. Like, Joe, you did what? At the beginning, it was really tough, but I have to say it was a little bit fun. I miss, I miss my parents, Joe. YouTube senses this is a joke. Don't get weird. <laughs> I'm glad you had a little bit of fun during this adventure. Uh, you're, you're sticking with us, though, for the new year, right? 2023? That depends on the state of my family. <laughs> okay. You're gonna okay. have to kidnap them again, bro. It's another yeah. year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, first of all, there's been some uh, some super chats, so I want to quickly go through those. Thank you all so much for the uh, support. We have a super chat from the Great I Quack. Uh, I smell a riot brewing from the Flux Vulk cult. If she loses to Dahlia, lock your doors and stay safe out there, TNG fans. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens with this fight coming up. Um, Donut Man Turd, if you think about it, Flux was just saving Cal from having to go to the dance with Smile. She was trying to be kind. That's an interesting perspective. Perhaps he mm. would have lost more limbs had he gone with Flux. I actually, I see the logic there. Uh, oh no. That's an interesting conclusion. He but... might have lost other appendages that we won't speak of. <laughs> it's, it's possible, you know. <laughs> Who knows? It's, it's an alternate dimension where that takes place. Black Reaper with the super chat, thank you so much. Joe, Flux better have the best dress this ball with art or else. Or else what? That's a little uh, scary. Like, hey, <laughs> look, if, if Joe's going around kidnapping families, okay. you better watch what you say yeah. in these. Well, okay, Hannah, come on. Don't that, was Joe. <laughs> that was unnecessary. That was unnecessary. You can't touch me. <laughs> that was unnecessary. Also, we'll Other see. Other Joe did this. Uh, I chat. You do not control me. I can make my own decisions. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll definitely see. We'll definitely see. Also, there are two early super chats for Master Gold. One oh, says, "Can you believe it, guys? Christmas is just a week away. Christmas is in a week. Woohoo! I am so happy about this information, Christmas!" Christmas. And then the other one says, "Uh oh, all right, oh, Master Gold. You know, all right, I'm gonna let Joe handle this. I'm just I, I, the narrator. Okay. Give Flux the W, Joe. And since I can't bribe you enough, cough, Vixen, cough. If she loses, I'll for force you to watch all 11 Star Wars films on a loop. So I don't know. Maybe bust out those weighted dice just for her. <laughs> Wait, on a loop? Isn't what's enough? Wait, there's 11? 
Is there actually yes. eleven? Yes. yes. You count the two spin off. You took the two spin off. Yeah. No, we're not watching eleven movies. That's not. I'll maybe watch one. No, 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 no. Uh, See, they miss some too. You, they miss Christmas oh, specials that? and everything. Oh, no, so you're yeah. getting off. We're not watching Christmas specials. <laughs> I didn't even know those Man. existed, and I wish I didn't there, know. Let us there watch are Lego the animated special where Boba Fett first appeared. <laughs> there are Lego specials as well. So uh, there are. Those are fire, though. It's true. Oh, and don't forget the Family Guy. The Family Guy uh, Star Wars robot version. Robot chicken. Robot. Oh, yeah, robot chicken. Just so you really understand the joke. Stormtrooper. Yeah. I'll say it a hundred times. I've played a Star Wars video game, so I know the lore. Like I. Fallen understand. Order and Knights Wait. of the Old Republic don't count. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. Those are the ones they that don't. count the most, I think. They they count, but like they're not telling you the okay. the actual current lore. Yeah, so you have to play a bad Star Wars game. <laughs> I'm just saying, Joe. Joe didn't recognize my screen name, and he played all Kotor too. And the, uh, my screen name is the main character of Kotor. Too. But you know, who's 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 slicing? You know, who's slicing? Who, yeah, who, who's counting? Who's counting? Uh, Me, I am. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. Master Golden, another super chat. One Joe. All right. Last Jedi. It is then. Okay. Oh. All right. You know. I haven't Picked seen the worst it, so one. I'll I'll watch it. I guess if it's just one. That movie made it. made me lose hope in Star Wars as a franchise. Period. Ben. Mm. Damn, it's got real dark real fast. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I Back to the holiday. You might enjoy it, but okay. I don't so know. Towers and Gods is not about Tower of God anymore. That's what I've learned. You know, fifty-three episodes in, this is a Star Wars series at heart. That's hey, maybe that's the next Finally. campaign, Joe. Glad you're finally coming around, man. <laughs> Guys, I've the just plan now realized we it. did it. <laughs> I've realized it at long last. But anyway, we are here. Thank you all so much for the support. Leave a like on the episode uh, to celebrate the end of 2022 for Towers and Gods, and to uh, yeah, to, to wish us luck for the new year. Towers and Gods going into 2023. So, with that said, I'll give a brief recap here uh, on events from last time. We had a few battles take place because we're, uh, we wrapped up most of Battle Gamble. We have one more fight coming up here. But overall, uh, we had Vlazer versus Mozzie. Vlazer took the W. That's all that needs to be said. Uh, Fawn defeated Damien Frog, uh, which was a bit unfortunate. Damien, do you have any thoughts on that? Uh, it was a skill issue. <laughs> oh, no. Skill issue. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. we can chalk it up to that. I think. Oh. I hope. Hopefully, the patch notes will be kind to Damien in the next uh, <laughs> <laughs> patch. Get some hot fixes in here real fast. Maybe a little hot fix. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Smile defeated Huang So. Uh, no surprise there. Uh, Nameless defeated Victor, and uh, Stexa defeated Wright. <clears throat> Wu defeated Jerry. Swoo. Any thoughts on that? Uh, Jerry's my man. You can take leave to the ball as long as Bug isn't around. <laughs> oh, I was no. hoping you were going to say skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> he would disrespect you, Jerry's. No, nah, bro. I, I don't need no, any more nerfs, bro. I don't need any more nerfs in the new patch. <laughs> <laughs> and we had Jong versus Boris. Jong with the lightning pill. I see, I see a lot of people in chat expressing their excitement about that moment. Jong, any thoughts? Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Boris really had us in the first half, but um, <laughs> but we, you know, we we buckled ourselves down and uh, we swallowed some pills. And that's not a good message. We, um, <laughs> you know, we got it done, man. We got yeah, it done. Yeah, way we know how. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's not a good message. Hey, that's so I'm good. Glad I didn't good say go. that live. Anyway, <laughs> we'll clip it out and post. <laughs> right, 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 right. Do a little edit. <laughs> awesome, awesome. But now we're leading into the final fight of Battle Gamble. We're going to jump on in here. Um, so really quickly, I want to get a gauge of everyone's location currently uh, leading into this final fight. So, Jong, you are you were rushed to the infirmary. You are currently unconscious. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you're, you're not, you know, you're, you're not thinking of anything at the moment, except uh, nothing is. Brack, you're in the gambling booth. Uh, you you noticed that she owned, she rushed out, but she eventually did come back and um, she, she returned to her seat. Hard to tell what uh, sort of emotions she's feeling or what she's thinking um, at the moment, but she seems to just have a straight face right now after having returned. And everyone else just seems to be 
thinking that this is the final bet of, of the workshop battle. They're giving this this a lot of thought. You can tell going around the room, you're seeing that everybody is uh, yeah struggling to make their final decision here. And then Ooh. in the go, my go ahead. fellow my fellow betters, I would advise every single one of you to vote for Dahlia. You've seen what he's capable of doing. You, you've, you've seen the monstrosity of a fighter that this young man is. Vote with your brains and vote for the copycat. Because whatever's thrown at him, he can throw back twofold. And then as Brax ends his speech, he gets down to Stexa, he gets down to Taki. He gets down to Shion. You three do not vote for him. Vote for Flux. She's going to destroy this man. Like, you guys don't understand what type of a monster she is. The witch is witching. Like, she is She is doing some crazy things. I, I should make a quick amendment. Um, I made a mistake. The Shion returned to the stands, um, oh. but but Still Young is the one in the game. Still Young that's, is the one. Okay, that's yeah, my, my fault. I, I mixed him up for a second so, there. Well, he says it to Sil Young. Sil Young sure. can hear him from across the room, so it don't even matter. Okay. Joe didn't see him there. That's, why you gotta do that? I'm gonna go kick Hannah really quick. Uh, give me a sec. Uh, server. No! <laughs> that might have been the most unnecessary one, I think. Uh, but, you they're know, all, they're all pretty things. necessary, bro. They're all pretty yeah, Okay. I guess, apparently. apparently. Um, so Taki just says, wait, so... Do you want me? Do you want? Should, should I vote for for Fluxfolk or for or for Dahlia? Everyone vote for Dahlia, and then he goes to talk again. Flux, I swear, if you do not listen to me, Super Bunny, you will not be super. Your feet will be lopped off. Your bacon will be cooked. Flux, Super Bunny, look at me in my eyes. <laughs> look at me. He's looking at you. Have I ever led you wrong outside of the times I betted against you? Yeah, you have. Uh, like a dozen times, but it's fine. It's all water under the bridge, but I'm just, you asked and I'm telling the truth. I mean, you have, you have technically led me astray. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you, you brought up a good point with the fact that Dahlia can copy things. And I don't know, I feel like he's a solid competitor. You, you, you know what, Super Bunny? You're right. Vote with your heart. And then he just looks at Stex. Stex, you know. You know. Flux Flux is on an entirely different level. Yeah, I remember the second floor. I didn't really interact with her that much, but she always gave me the heebie-jeebies, so... Yeah, I'm definitely voting for her. And then So Young says, Without her, we wouldn't have defeated Soul. And Soul Thank you. Was strong, way too strong. Yeah. And then Brack just looks out the window towards Wu's di uh, general direction that he would be in the stands, and he just goes and he points at Super Bunny like, <laughs> I "Try, I uh, try." I use Monkey's gift, and I and I, and I zoom in. I just tell him it's not worth it. Give him a little just quick head shake. Like, don't worry about it. Just make your money, bro. Uh, while the bets are taking place, uh, Jerry ends up walking in, bruised and battered, and he takes the place of the gambler that was there instead of him. He looks like he's seen better days, but despite the fact that he is, uh, you know, just coming off of his recent fight, he still takes a seat and prepares to place his bet. Doesn't say a single word. Ah, uh, Jerry's. Just a mound of defeat after Wu put defeat on you. That's crazy, Jerry's. I haven't seen him beat someone that bad since the champion round back on the the, the Lindquist floor. Um, how, how are you holding up there, bud? He just looks over at you and he stands up and he kind of... He just walks over to you and kind of like goes down on his knees or just kind of like, you know, squats down. 
Wu is a fierce fighter. I have no regrets. Except for the fact that I must train harder to make up for my performance. And he stands back up and goes and sits in his chair. Brings the tears to Brack Eye. <laughs> so goddamn admirable. <sighs> All right, everyone. Place your bets. I know I'm not. A, I know I'm not the rope it, but place your bets. Okay. Trying to see how much money I'm about to rake in. <laughs> awesome. So in the stands, uh, the rest of you. Uh, so Damien, Eden, Wu, you're there. Leaf, Victor are present. Uh, Victor ended up checking his wounds, and he ended up coming back, and he, he's overall fine, and uh, he, he didn't sustain too many uh, harsh injuries from his fight with Nameless, and you're all just waiting for the match to begin. Let me head over here and check the bet. Oh, no. Perfect. Oh, yes. Will big money be earned, I wonder? There we go. All right. <clears throat> Oreo ends up coming into the picture. The, the the bets have been placed, everyone. This is it. The final match of Battle Gamble. Let's hear your cheers as we begin the match. And the crowd goes crazy. Everyone's cheering. Flux folk. Flux folk. Dahlia. Dahlia. And there's some people wearing merch of the uh, two individuals. <laughs> the, you know, they're holding up signs and they're cheering. There's There's... People of every, it feels like a, a majority of the popular uh, competitors have representatives in the crowd. Dahlia looks cool as a cucumber as he just stands there across from Flux Bulk. She's not wearing her hood. She just has her hands in her pockets as she's staring at him. And you can see a little smirk come across your face. It looks like this is it. I cannot wait to dance with you, partner. And he kind of does his little twirl of his uh, his shawl, does a little step. Fluxvok just says, "Cut the act, roses. Let's fight." And he seems to, for a moment, he kind of stops, but then he just chuckles, and gets into a fighting stance, which is more like a dancing pose for him. Let the battle begin in three, two, one. Let me see here. here we go. Who's gonna win, chat? Who's gonna win? <laughs> hey guys, you ever seen uh, that episode of Dragon Ball Z? You remember when Zarbon was fighting against Vegeta? Yeah. <laughs> Flux Volk is about to turn him into Monster Zarbon. Just, just remember that. Ooh, He's talking to the That'd gamblers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brack is talking to the gamblers. Yeah, I mean, sure, sure. Because just... their bets are already locked yeah, up, yeah, so yeah, he's yeah. just counting his money. Everyone's just kind of eagerly uh, watching, waiting for the fight to begin. Uh, I gotta pull this up real quick. Okay. For the people watching, uh, I did the rolls before the episode began. I'll do a little bit in the middle of the fight as well. So, as soon as the fight begins, they fly at each other, and it's 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 as if every... It looks to be every other fight that you've seen as far as Dahlia just countering everything. But the thing that you notice is that as they charge at each other, Fluxvolk swinging out her scythe. He reaches into his own arms inventory, which you'd never seen from Dahlia before, and there's a wide variety of weapons, and he pulls out a scythe. Immediately, the arms inventory vanishes, and scythe clash, scythe clash, boom, 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 dodge, oh. and the scythes are just flying across the arena, and Fluxvolk is teleporting back and forth, but every time, he swings his own scythe to counter her own attacks. It seems that Dahlia was prepared! We have to admire his tenacity! And the moment where they kind of, they get a brief respite. Had to make sure I didn't know who my opponent was going to be. The only weapons I didn't have were mm, scissors and a chainsaw. And he kind of just gives a little smirk. 
Oh, shit. But Fluxvolk looks unperturbed. The same uh, serious expression with a slight hint of a smile on her face as they're clashing at each other. The power and the ferocity are clearly in Fluxvolk's favor. Every time she does manage to uh, get the upper hand, put the pressure on Dahlia, he's backing away every single time, forcing a step back, step back, step back, step back. But the speed seems to be in Dahlia's favor sometimes as well. And sometimes even the power, as so he'll block a blow and then he'll immediately retaliate and Fluxvolk is forced in the defensive. And then whenever she is forced, he's pushing her back. It's even, one side winning, other side winning. It's even, even, even. There's a moment where Dahlia is gaining ground, pushing Fluxvolk towards the edge of the arena. And they are moving so fast, it's, it's, it makes his previous battles look like he was, he was toying around, at least for moments of them. They're moving ridiculously fast. Uh, whew, the, the, the strength of these E-rank regulars is undeniable! <laughs> There's a moment where Fluxvolk teleports behind Dahlia. Dahlia seems to be expecting a certain attack, but she takes him off guard, and she puts the scythe to his neck, and as she's about to swing across, Dahlia does something you've never seen him do before. He's caught in her grip, but his body contorts, and it's almost as if his his uh, the his chest and his, his stomach, they sort of crunch together, enough to dodge the scythe blow before expanding back to normal, and then he goes back on the offensive towards her. It's, it's only a brief moment. It's almost as if you're seeing things. But he, he, the, the way he contorted his body was unusual. He retracted himself like a turtle. No. Is he dancing turtle then? Yes. Yes. What the hell was that? This deck's up. Brack, can, can you explain what happened? Absolutely no clue. I didn't even know this man had a scythe. I do not know what's going on. He should not be moving this fast. Flux should have been able to one-hit KO him. I don't understand. This is not what was in my plans. Go! Go! Why didn't you tell us he could do that? <laughs> <laughs> it's Fawn's fault now. Wait, who are you, who are you yelling at? Far. <laughs> she... She just turns and uh, and looks at you. He's quite talented, isn't he? Oh, I'm really glad I voted for him. And then Taki just slowly turns to you, Brack. His lips are quivering. You didn't vote for Flux anyway, <laughs> Taki. I don't want to hear it. You, <laughs> you, you, voted, you voted for Dahlia. Can't help but think you rap it. I'm so upset right now. <laughs> uh, and and the you know as this happens after Dahlia sort of reveals this new thing that he's doing you, you're starting to see it more and more every time Flux puts him in a position where he's in danger he's able to warp his body out of the way the, the flexibility is undeniable almost unnatural and then there's a moment where he takes advantage of this. He dodges one of her attacks, and he swings his scythe, and he spins. Two scra scratches appear on Flux's cheeks. Blood starts to trickle down her face. She jumps away. Why don't you use the power that we saw earlier, Flux Falk? Would you mind if I called you that? Or, or should I call you Flux? You've been a wonderful dance partner so far, but I think we could step it up, don't you think? You're not worth it, Flux says. Hmm. It appears we shall end the dance early then. <laughs> they jump at each other, and then in a single moment, a burst of power <laughs> from Dahlia's end. He spins in a circle, the scythe twirls. <laughs> they dash past each other, and there's a moment where you can't tell what happened, and then two gash marks run across Flux's eyes. These huge gashes Cross her eye. It's it appears out of nowhere, ah. and instead of eyes, there's just huge, huge gashes across her face, one larger than the other. They both land on the ground. Oh my! How brutal! 
One of our competitors has just been blinded! And then Dahlia just spins, does a quick bow for the audience before turning back to Flux. There's some silence for a moment. Well, I would accept, I would accept defeat if I were you. However, I admire your tenacity. But despite the fact that these just, just blood running across her face, her face just completely coated in blood, just a, a huge grin runs across her face, just ear to ear. Oh, roses, how foolish you are. And there's this loud cracking sound. And there's this crack that runs across Dahlia's face. Jagged, crisscrossing, just a crack across one side of his face, all the way down. He kind of palms his face. There's no blood, just a crack. When did... <clears throat> he starts coughing. Oh, I've seen you fight many times, Roses. I know how you operate. And she turns back to him, and she just has the biggest grin, despite the fact that she can't see. And she's slowly walking towards him. She flicks her scythe, the blood coming down her face, just flicking off. It's time for the real match to begin, don't you think? And then she jumps at him, and this time his smile is gone. The dance continues between the two of them, but now it's Flux who is gaining ground. Teleport, teleport, teleport. She's appearing on all sides of him, and he's slowing down. The speed that he had, the power that he had is no longer present. And there's a moment where he tries to push himself, and the crack starts to get bigger. <clears throat> so he stops. But the moment that happens, she's about to teleport behind him. He turns, ready to attack her, but she doesn't teleport behind him. Instead, she teleports in front of him. Now his back turned to her. She swings her scythe. And in one fluid motion, he just falls to his knees. <laughs> and then he falls flat on his face onto the arena. The crowd is waiting, watching his body. I don't believe it! The final winner of Battle Gamble is Flux Volk from Team Fate! And the crowd erupts. I'm imagining like a referee slides in. He's doing like the three count on the mat. Like one, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> the intro theme of Flux Fox starts playing. <laughs> My God. <laughs> oh, and the crowd is going crazy. Stexa breathes a sigh of relief. So Young appears to just smile. I knew she would win. Though Roses is strong. And everyone else just has a serious grin on their a serious expression on their face. Everyone from Vaughn to Jerry's. Vaughn appears very surprised. Oh my, I hope he's alright. What did Brock tell you? <laughs> As he gets closer to Super Bunny. What did I tell you? Have Brock ever steered you wrong? Even when I don't know, I know. That's Breck. how good Brack is. Brack, you just you, saved my team. You, you voted for Flux? Yeah. <laughs> you saved us. And he's just like, he's like on his knees, his <laughs> arms wrapped around you. Brack picks him up. Brack picks him up by his pink tank top, puts him up on his shoulder, and we just start dancing. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> The money! Oh, <laughs> Only no. you fools! You fools, you fell for the crest! You fell for the crest, but us over here, the winner's circle, the winner's box! Yes, we win! <laughs>
<laughs> they don't appear to be that pleased uh, overall. Uh, but as you're, you're celebrating, Maggie jumps out of her chair. Yes, I knew it! We're so smart, you and I, Brack! And there's some sparkles. Uh, hello, wait for me. <laughs> Who is she? Why does she keep coming near me? <laughs> I mean, it was pretty obvious that the fierce ally of Team Recall would have taken this victory, don't you think? Why are you calling her a fierce ally, see you? Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. <laughs> you're, you're, bothering, Go away. you're upsetting me. <laughs> you're killing the vibe here. She does not pass the vibe check. Brack just takes Super Bunny off of his shoulder, just put him back down on the ground, just like, ah, God dang it. The whole mood is ruined. Like, you voted for... How many of y'all voted for Flux? Let's just get this out the way. Bull, I already know you did. Don't, don't even raise your hand. The rest of you? Uh... Vaughn and Fawn and Jerry's, they willingly say that they didn't vote for Flux. Is there a problem, says Vaughn. Yes, because I wanted like at least six of you to vote for uh, Dahlia, but okay. Um. Brack, that's not possible because you told four of us to vote for Fluxvolk, which means that at the maximum only five would have voted for Dahlia, and that's in the best case scenario. Little young, little young, little young, little young. I understand Brack can't number, but this is what I'm trying to say. I, I was at least expecting the majority to at least vote for Flux, okay? Okay. Is that too much to ask for? You know, I just I just want to go into the next round, you know, filling my pockets extra fat while I get my belly extra fat later on tonight. But <laughs> it, we can't do that now, can we? I don't see why not. I think you're the most successful gambler in the room, aren't you? That's not the point. I want all of it. I'm like a, I'm like the creators of Tower of Duty. If I can't have it all, I don't want it. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the stands, uh, Victor was clapping at Flux's victory. I don't like her, but that was impressive. And I prefer that she win over Dahlia, so not bad. Turns to you, Eden. Well, we know he's not invincible, huh? I guess not. That was weird. He, like, cracked himself, but then a crack formed on his face, and then he couldn't operate as effectively. Hmm. Huh. That has to be his weakness, right? <clears throat> yeah, well, maybe he isn't. Maybe he's a mirror after all. You just gotta find the right points to hit and he'll crack. That's a great way to put it. Wow. Also, no, I was toyed with. That's fun. <laughs> Come on, I, he. Look, the, the way that I see it is. Because he was up against Fluxvolk, he was forced to adapt. It seems like his strength... Hmm. I didn't imagine He it. toyed with me. It's okay, Victor. <laughs> All right, if you say so. Not the first time I've been toyed with. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh... <clears throat> Great round three, wouldn't you say, everybody? He looks at Wu. He looks at, uh, Damien. That was an exhilarating battle. Yeah. Girlfriend, do you proud there, Damien? Actually, I kind of wanted Dahlia to win. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Huh? Well, I mean... What? If I'm out of the tournament, I mean... It's completely selfish, but... I kind of wanted to fight Flux. The tournament's over, I'm... though. If I'm already out, then... I think you're misunderstanding the way the game works, Damien. Everyone's still what? moving on to the final game. Yeah, but... Well... Either way... But I have another I question there... for you. I like the idea of there's someone being stronger than Flux, and having to take them on. 
you're you're crazy, but okay. How about you, Will? <laughs> Did you expect any other outcome? Hmm. No, I think it was. We all know that Flux is basically the strongest regular we've ever seen, maybe except for Soul. Yeah. Interesting fight, though. <clears throat> but Damien, you got a blind girlfriend. Is that gonna affect anything, or is everything still good between you two, you think? Hmm? That doesn't change the fact. Hmm. I just hope she can deal with it. Flux eventually walks back to this uh, corner of the area, and her hand's just over her eyes. And then she takes it away, and you can see the scars are starting to heal, and she is able to slightly open her eyes now. She looks over it, Team Recall, and then just walks out. Well, everybody, what a successful day. Gamblers, you will receive your totals very soon, but don't forget, tomorrow is the grand ball for all the regulars to celebrate their achievements and their victories. It's going to be a fun time. Everyone can participate, and don't forget, Tier B will still have a, winner te a winning team after all this is said and done. But Wait. half the crowd is still getting up and uh, heading out. Winning team? What was... Eden, did I, did I hear that right? You heard it right. Does that mean that the top eight are going to fight the other top eight? Does that mean we're all going to be on the same team? I think that means we're all not going to be on the same team. Well, that is interesting. Hey, guys, can we go check on John now? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, let's go, Sushion. The crowd is all getting up, and the gamblers have been given permission to leave their room as well. As the day, as the battle gamble is winding down and everyone's starting to get up and leave. Oh. Super bunny. Yeah, 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 Brad. He's wiping tears from his eyes. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Was my ruse a good ruse? Uh, what ruse? Huh? When I tried to trick everyone to vote for Dahlia, was it a good ruse? That's what. Oh, it all makes sense now. You were trying to get them, to, so you would make. Brack, you're you you're you're a sneaky one. I gotta give you more credit. Anyway, yeah, it was a good plan. Yeah, good ruse. It wasn't a good plan. No. When, when Taki said it was good, it definitely was not good, bro. <laughs> You know, Brack, if you want, I could give you some advice on uh, rigging games. You know, I, I've got I got pretty good at it on the Pascal. I feel like I could give you some tips. And We're all for three. Shut up. <laughs> didn't your brother? <laughs> didn't didn't your brother trick you like two That's times? Because he's my bro. All right, and and he was able to see through me because we share the same blood. It, I can't trick him. He, he's on another level, you know. But when that. I love you, buddy. Love well, you too, man. Love you too, Breck. Always Stack. have, always will. I appreciate it. Stacks. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, what? Mm -hmm. Until she was kind of lost in thought. Please tell me you, you, you did okay during the betting. Honestly, I think I did pretty good. We'll see when I get my final total back, but I think I'm probably above average. I have more points than what I started with, so that's pretty good, right? That's great. That's great. Uh, if that's <sighs> the metric we're going by, then I'm afraid Little you perform very well. Little Young, you're fine. You, you've already won the game of life. It, it, you don't need to do anything more. The game of... <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, and then uh... Rack just... <laughs> Rack is like, read my aura. Read my aura. <laughs> Read my aura. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, little no! girl. No! You can't just read minds. Like he... no, I didn't say minds. I said aura. He can see shit. He can see Everyone uh, starts to get up and leave, and all head to their own. Uh, head to their own various things. Uh, but Silly Lung says, "Should we go see Jong?" 
Yes. <laughs> I, I think he'll Anna? be fine. Anna? I did nothing. I was clearing my throat. Okay. I thought you were about to make a blind joke. Uh, Me? Because I said... Oh, never mind. Uh, let's go. Sorry, Milios. What were you saying? <laughs> go ahead, Milios. What were you, what were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Joe's playing himself <laughs> these days. He really is, no, honestly. I, I really thought... I, God damn Joe, it. put a dollar God in the blind it. joke jar. Go it. ahead. You just <laughs> 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 I love you guys. How you just tried to pass it off for it. I really, I don't, uh, let's move on, let's move on. I don't wanna, I'm not gonna explain. You fell okay, into my ahead. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, let, let's. Uh -huh. Brack just looks at Seal Young. Yeah, let's go see Jong. Yeah. Right, let, let's go. <laughs> you are, uh, so so it's you and Seal Young. Uh, Stex is gonna go check on the rest of her team. So I'm assuming now everybody's gonna go, you know, we go and meet Jong. Yeah. Okay. You head to the infirmary. Uh, the nurses lead you to where Jong currently is, and you walk past a few people who are also there. You see Kusif is still there in the infirmary, and you see that Elias is there. You see that um, uh, Cal is still there, and he still hasn't woken up uh, since his fight with Fluxfalk. But eventually, you're led to the middle of the room, where you see Jong, lying in bed, and uh, he's completely out, completely unconscious. And yeah, you all end up meeting up. Brack, Sil Young, you're you're there with uh, the rest of Team Recall. They're like a nurse we can talk to or something. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there is. I put on a lab coat and I take the glasses out of the pocket. <gasps> Doctor Damien is here to help. <laughs> Dr. Damien, we did not ask for a doctor. We asked for a nurse, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm even better than a nurse. A doctor, you know, is, is, is like the best. I remember the last time I was in an infirmary, the doctor just came and gave me a diagnosis while the nurses did all the work. Are you, are heard you sure? The doctors are the kings of the hospital. They order the nurses around with gusto. Sir, if you don't stop, I'm going to have to uh, kick you out of the room. These are my glasses. His uh, condition is... Throat, but these are my glasses. The nurse Damien. is staring at you. Ian just, like, lightly puts a hand over Damien's mouth, like, shh. <laughs> His condition is stable. He's going to be all right. However, it may be a couple of days until he's well enough to walk. Uh, nurse, um, um, may I call you Miss Nurse? Uh, nurse is perfectly acceptable. Okay, Miss Nurse. Okay, so this is what we need. All right. We need him to be able to be up and walking by the time of the dance because Brack, I'm expecting okay. no, 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 big... Brack, 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 what? It, it, what? His rest and his his health is most, more important than that. Brack just looks at her like bewildered, like... um. Anyway, Nurse... <laughs> We need him up and running, like, as soon as possible. You got any of those, like, uh, stem shots? Like, you can we're give him... Every, we're doing everything we can, it. sir, and I'm afraid that his condition is not great at the moment. He seemed to absorb enough Shinsu to possibly explode his own heart. It's a miracle that he's still alive. But, I mean, I mean, his heart has been... Has been... Uh, you know what? Brack? Uh, mm -hmm. Does he need to be... here to recover? Ideally, yes. Yeah. I'll leave you to it then. And then she leaves the room. Victor, do you have any insight into the lightning pills? They hurt a lot. Is your name Victor? <laughs> I heard doctor. Oh, Damien. <laughs> just like invisibly face palms, just like, oh my gosh. He's not wrong. I mean, I don't know much about it personally, but I did, you know, study a thing or two and hear a thing or two from a couple of my fellow family members, and it, it seems that it's something that usually is only capable by certain branches of the family. It, it's not exactly a common thing. Hmm. I'm assuming this is the first time he's ever used it. 
which is pretty damn impressive. Normally you have to practice this thing for years. <sighs> Proud of my little bro, you know? Just glad he's okay. Maybe if I did some healing, it would help? Or maybe I would mess up what the nurses did, though. Well, maybe with you and Siliang, both. Not a bad idea. How about this? I'll have Leaf give me the necklace. I'll go get him. I'll bring him here. Thank you, Eden. She'll trot off. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you start to head out of the room and you bump into Stexa and Monica. Oh, oh, sorry, Eden. No, you're good. I just gotta go find uh, Nameless. Be right back. Okay, sounds good. Uh, you go past them. <clears throat> Stexa and Monica head inside and they first check in on Jong, just see if he's okay, but then they go to Cal's uh, bed and they're they're checking on his condition and Monica's writing some things down in her notebook. You notice you've never seen her like use her pocket for anything writing writing wise. She's always writing in this notebook. Um Eden, before long, you don't run into Nameless, but you do run into Jason uh, from Team Blessing. Hey! Hey, Jason, hey, have can you I help seen... you with anything? What's up? What's going on? Have you seen Leaf around yeah. anywhere? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, who? Uh, who? Nameless. Ah, name, right. I, f I forgot his name was Leaf. So, yes, I did see him. He was with his sister. Uh, they are currently over by the elevator. Thanks. Yeah, hey, so, can I come with? I mean, here, I'll show, I'll show you myself. Here, follow me, follow me. He starts okay. heading down the hall. He's like, what? <laughs> he's just walking. So oh, Eden, Eden, is, Eden is, is running. Ah, he's, he's running alongside <laughs> you. What was your favorite fight? None of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the image of like Jason running after Eden being like, wait, what do you think of the match? <laughs> <laughs> just a vision mob from mob psycho like running as jason just <laughs> eventually he uh he leads you to the elevator and uh you see that astrid doesn't appear to be too happy and she's talking to leaf who's just standing there hey leaf he doesn't turn to you nameless he just slowly turns to you. <laughs> He just like, okay. <laughs> you can tell like she is annoyed. <laughs> and Asher just like snapping in his face. Leaf, that's your name. What is? Yeah, it? Leaf. Hey, uh, Siliang needs a necklace, and I need to go take it to him. So, she, like, puts a palm out. He hesitates and then just unwraps the. Ian snatches. Ian snatches wrist. it like Ace would, and she takes off. <laughs> Okay. She okay. learned a thing or two. She learned a thing or two. Hey, careful, careful with that thing. It's it's important to the. Shut uh, up, Astrid. <laughs> and as you run back, uh, Jason's. Should I come with you, or is everything good? <laughs> she just keeps running. I'll I'll see you later. And his voice just drowns out. <laughs> bro, this guy's face is a Take a knee, bro. Just take a knee. You're good, bro. <laughs> 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 All right, so you make it back to the uh, to the infirmary. Everyone's there. She comes sliding around the corner with the necklace. Here you go. So like, uh, oh, that was fast. Thank you, Eden. Yep. He slowly puts the necklace over his neck. Just gives a shoulder a squeeze. Like you got this. <clears throat> Ready, Leaf? Uh, yeah. And his whole body starts to glow. His hair starts to rise. <gasps> oh. Puts his hands on Jong. Leaf does the same, and Jong's body starts to glow golden. What? What is... what? <laughs> Sil Young slowly with one hand grasps his head. What? She, she, Eden, like, pulls his hands off of Jong. You good? Sil Young, what, what's, what's wrong? It's fucking Signe. He, his blessing depowers down. I'm fine, I just... A, a bad memory is all. 
She just puts both hands on his shoulders. You want to talk about it? I just saw my my aunt. In my head, I saw her yeah. aura. But I feel as if I've done everything I can anyway. I, I think... Hey, I you've done helped. plenty. I... You've done plenty. Yeah, that was that was great. I, I can tell he's breathing easier. And you see that Jong's chest is definitely rising up and down, and he seems to be... It's hard to tell if it's your imagination or not, but maybe slightly more peaceful. Yeah. Come here. Oh, yeah. We're coming back here tonight. Need your help. No problem. Uh, gotta tell me what this is all about later. Kidnapping. We're kidnapping him. Oh, say less. Yeah. Um, old Gord Switcheroo again? Exactly. Gotcha. Also, I apologize, everybody. I didn't realize the stream buffered there for a minute. Um, oh, no. It's, oh, everything's yeah. good now, but I, I didn't realize. Leaf's about to take her hands away, and she's, you know, ready to go back to the group. But. Uh, all of a sudden, Zhang's hand reaches out and grabs Leaf's hand. Jung? Jung? And Chion runs over. Hey, hey, you there? And you can hear him breathing, but it sounds like it sounds like it hurts to breathe. Like he's not able to get a breath out fully. Chion. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I'm here. What? I'm sorry. And all of a sudden, a little spark of electricity jumps from his hand and it zaps Leaf's hand. And then his hand, like, falls. He lets go. <laughs> she kind of, like, jumps back. Jung? Jung. Hey, hey, Jung! Is she going to think it, it's okay? And Leaf goes over. I think this is good. I think we may have helped speed along the recovery process, but he still won't be fighting fit for a little while. See about that. Wu, I, I would ask that you don't push him. Push? Never. Right. She was just looking at Jong. He'll be fine. And he wouldn't want us to just stand around staring at him. He... Right, Damien? She turns and looks at Damien. Right, right. <laughs> As I push up my glasses, I do believe that this is sufficient proof that Jong will be okay. I didn't want We should let him rest. I didn't, okay. Damien, what uh, medical school did you attend? Hmm? Medical uh, school? Um, if you're wondering if I have a degree, I do not. I have, I just think that it's a good look for me. A good look? <laughs> That's not how that works, Damien. Now on to the next patient. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I don't know about that, Damien. I feel like, uh, you know, we should probably leave Cal alone. I feel like he's been through enough trauma as it is. Hmm. Mr. Cal Silvers has been in a coma for the past three days, is it? And Stexa turns around. Uh, yeah, he, he has. Hmm. But all, and all his vitals are normal, Yes. All vitals are normal, yes. Well, May I ever give y'all a reason as to why he's not waking up? 
they just say his body is in a recovery phase right now, I guess, similar to Jong. He, it might be more mental, though, and that's what I'm worried about. Maybe he doesn't want to wake up. Hmm. But it's okay. We all know Cal's going to be good to go, and our team is going to do him proud, even if he can't fight with us on the final day. So, nothing to worry about. Right, Monica? I would concur. So, we should probably go get ready for tomorrow, huh? I guess so. There's nothing more to do here. Okay. Everyone kind of prepares to leave then. Um, I'm gonna say that we're, we're gonna rush the rest of this day. Um, so, you know, time is passing into the evening. Um, I'm assuming there isn't anything like super important that needs to be done. Uh, we're gonna cut to the night briefly, but correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, you know. Think, think, we're, think, good? think we're good? Think we're good. Sure, sure. I'll say that it's going on nighttime, uh, and you are all in your suite. You are all kind of preparing for the night. Most of you are extremely tired after your fights, or after watching the fights, and after all the things that have been happening emotionally, physically, right? And uh, we'll say it's like yeah, going later, 10 p.m. or something like that, uh, at night. Uh, there is an announcement that is made over the monitors and speakers that the winning team from Tier B was Team Stranger! So that's mm. throughout the, uh, the Euclid. Oh, Hugo, baby. Brack, I bet you're happy about that, huh? It was a given that Big H was going to win me, given the competition that he was up against. Like, I mean, I watched him cave in a grandma's head. Like, it, it, <laughs> there was... wait, 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 she was not a grandma. <laughs> like, we can... <laughs> you can say so... she wasn't, but the way you described her, she was a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> she had blonde hair. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, you could be old and blonde too, you know. Okay. It could be like a nice. You're, okay. Right. I'm so glad you brought that. Grandma's head. Oh my gosh. You go kill the man, bro. Not just any man, a grandma. Grandma got run over by a hammer. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Swung by Hugo from Team Stranger. You know, the night, so so you hear that announcement and uh, Victor ends up walking over to you, Eden. Hey, so any any plans for tomorrow? I don't know, Leaf? She just like shoots a look over at Leaf. Hmm? Um, actually, um. Mm-hmm. Nagin has it, her hands like, <laughs> like was, put together on her chin, like, hmm. It was really nice of him because Seal Young offered to go with me. Aww. Yeah, I mean, he said that, you know, there, there's going to be a dance at the start and he needs help. And I, I, I'm excited about it. It's going to be fun. And you can tell she's definitely smiling. And you just hear a, like, loud sigh of relief from Wu. And he's just shaking his head up and down. Good. This is good. Ace is going to steal your shoes, though. I'm just letting you know ahead of time. Huh? Why, why would she steal my... <laughs> Come on, Eden. <laughs> <laughs> it's not serious. It's just for fun. I know, I know, but I have to poke fun. And Ace will probably steal your shoes. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> well, she's welcome to if it means I get to see her again. Hey, same. Ah, <sighs> well, well. By the way, uh, you all would have gotten like uh, you would have been approached by various uh, people from the workshop, like. Uh, assistants and people who would have like basically taken down what you wanted to wear to the ball and uh, they would have told you that they would have delivered it to your suite the following morning so you're you're basically oh, cool. we're giving creative freedom there and they have the technology to basically give you whatever you want <clears throat> okay so the night is continuing on I'm assuming everyone's just gonna basically head to bed Nope. Here. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I was like, no. Nope. Brack and I have a little ice to pull real quick. 
Oh, sure, I'm sure. A person heist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Rescue the hostage. <laughs> well, how late in the night are you trying to attempt this? 12 a.m. 12 a.m. It is midnight. <laughs> Brack, I'm assuming you, you're you going along with this uh, in return. Brack is in his pajamas. He's out. He has a whole plan mapped out in his head, like, for what's to happen while he's carrying the gourd. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. We're going to call it midnight. What do you do? Uh, what floor is the infirmary on? Um, it's it's on the, like, basement level floor where the... Okay. Safe... Yeah, yeah. Do we... Can we access it? Like, I mean, I still have the key card, so... <laughs> you do have a key card, so you can certainly try. I will attempt to do that. Okay. Perfect. Let me do this music. Okay. You're laying low. You eventually end up approaching the elevator. You're going to try to attempt, you know, attempt to go to the basement floor. And it works. The elevator dings in response. I knew I should have stole this thing. The two of you start descending down. Uh, can we roll stealth? Yeah, roll stealth. Hey, bro, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up, bro. I don't know if you can <laughs> see that, but that's an F20. Let's go. All right. Okay. All right. You couldn't write this. Oh, my God. And from Brack, we have a net one. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. My God. The clap of his non-existent armor is still dummy thick. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Legend has it you can still hear the, the perfectly balanced. <laughs> yeah, I rolled three net ones before we started. He I should have known. <laughs> Oof. But, uh, it is what it is. Oh, no. It's uh, it's difficult, right? Because as soon as you exit the elevator on this basement floor, uh, Wu, you are just you. You know the area. You feel like this is this is this is the perfect night. You're using every shadow, every corner. But Brack, like, the the stands that were there, like little food stands, and so you're just like, you know, bump, you're bumbling into them, and like, you know, cups are like clacking on the floor, and like silverware is clanking in these vendors, and <laughs> you, you're like tripping on nothing, and it, Turns the on darkness is getting machine. to you. It's, it's a little dark outside, you know? Or inside the hallway. You got, you got, it's the opposite of what you're supposed to be doing. I can't help it, I got two left feet. <laughs> Oh, who put that card right there? That is not a perfectly good place to put a card. <laughs> Maybe I should ask Damien for this one. Oh. Uh, you continue down oh, the hall. You, you, you're not approached uh, for for a while, and you, you end up arriving at the infirmary door. But then you hear footsteps coming towards you. Uh, can I do? Halt, regulars. H1 walks up to you. <gasps> Eacher, what, what are you doing here? There's just a long period of silence from her. Uh... Yeah, I forget. You don't answer these such questions. Okay, look. It's what not what it looks reasoning like. reasoning for being out this late, Mr. Wu? Mr. Bronson? Huh? Well, who, who are you? I can't. And Brack is just oh, touching no! on her face. Uh, um, and Brack just pretends to like sleepwalk <laughs> towards another direction. And I, uh, and I kind of like grab it. You see, he, he wandered off and I was trying to bring him back and he stumbled all the way down here. I, I tried to stop him. He's a little big, if you haven't noticed. Brack, she uses your first name. Never touch me again. Oh, oh. All right, teacher, fine. We're not gonna lie to you. You're smarter than this. We came to retrieve something from the infirmary. You can stop us if you want. Exactly. Mr. Jong. Wow. You've just been honest with you. Start. Yep, that's exactly what we're here for. I don't believe that would be the best idea. Why do you say that? I checked his vitals earlier. He seems to be healing rapidly than even you would have thought. I believe You're it's best to leave him here for the night. 
the following night, perhaps. But tonight, I'm not going to let you take him, because I'm afraid that it could ruin his healing process. Well, I just figured I'd put him somewhere where he could heal unperturbed faster. But if he needs to be here for some specific reason... The nurses are continuing to check on him throughout the night. I believe it's best. Your idea is sound, however. Okay. I trust you. I appreciate We'll leave him here. But if he's not better by tomorrow, I'm taking him anyway. Also, while I do not blame you for worrying about your companion's condition, she holds out her hand, I'll need the key card. Only if you give me a piece of information first. You're really not gonna put your hand down, huh? And we'll put the key card in the gourd. I'm not giving you the key card until you agree to give me one piece of information. You said you'd help me. So help me. I'm waiting for your response. Each one. You know what? Look. You can have the key card. I hand it to her. Good. There would have been problems. Now, what is it you wish to know? Let's go, Brent. You, you, you don't have questions? I mean... I, I, mean, <laughs> I gotta get him back to the room. Before. Big day tomorrow, H1. Big day tomorrow. I'll see you around. Enjoy, uh, enjoy yourself, regulars. And then she just uh, watches you leave. Back, we're going to have to work on your, your stealth, buddy. It's, it's not my fault. It, sometimes these things just happen. I don't know. Like, sometimes I think that I'm like secret agent squirrel out there just on, a, on an excellent mission. And then, you know, other days I'm just, I'm out here like Mr. Bean. I, I can't really put it two and two together. Uh, when you approach the elevator, uh, <laughs> when you approach the elevator, it doesn't actually let you in. So H1 ends up coming back and like letting you into the elevator and kind of like basically letting you ascend before, uh, before uh, walking away. But when you, when you return to the room, uh, you notice that Leaf is sitting there. Any luck? No, but H1 says he should be okay. And I trust her. So... We'll leave him for now. Okay. Uh, Almost got killed by a rinker. What? Huh? huh? He You're wasn't gonna, gonna kill us. She was gonna kill me. I seen the look in her eyes. I saw it. That's how she, she like, always pokes her looks. head out of her door. What did you do with a rinker? Uh, it, uh, um. Yeah. You know what? Did, what did you do? <laughs> I was Ooh. pretending to sleepwalk, and I touched her face. Who, whose face did you touch? H one. You're lucky. You oh still my have your gosh! Head back. You're super lucky. Oh well, how's H one doing? Same as usual. Oh, well, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not good for the plan then. <laughs> Can I? Okay, we we. I thought it was fairly clear in the team meeting the other night that you know information is good, secret missions maybe clue the team in. So what were you guys trying to do other than accost H one from the sounds of things? Victor pokes up from behind the couch. They were trying to get John back, I would assume. Ah! Why are you behind the couch? <laughs> I don't know. It's comfy. Come back here. I wasn't seeing the plan. You have a room. I'm rolling inside. I'm rolling inside. I got it. I got it. I got it. That's... 14. Behind the couch. 14? Ah, uh, he was doing something, but it's hard to say. Oh, he's probably looking for popcorn in, the, in, the, in between the couch. I do that too. That's exactly what I was doing, uh huh? Uh, no, that's... that. You're lying, Victor. I am, yes. <laughs> Well, how many pieces did you find? Uh, not many, not many. Plus, okay, it's well. kind of gross, you know? Team but... Recall! We're supposed mm -hmm. to be truthful! 
with each other so we work together better. I mean, I don't think they were going to do anything bad, so I trust them. They everybody. snuck out in the middle of the night, and I know Wu has and a key card. Victor, yeah, they, Victor's, they Victor's, Victor's right. I don't have the key card anymore. The H1 took it. Oh, thank yeah. God. That is Victor's actually right. a relief. But we went to I go get John. Okay. For what reason? Well, I just figured if he rested in the gourd, he'd be better sooner. That's huh. really smart, actually. That is. Huh. But uh, H1 said that she checked his vitals and it'd be best if he stayed there for the night. But he should recover sooner than we thought. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I mean, come on. Brack was there. We gotta trust it. It was a good plan. He would be beginning to believe if Brack wasn't there, I would have succeeded. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> <wait whatever>. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! He, oh. He's, he's kind of right. He's kind of right. Oh boy. It's so mm. dark, you know, I couldn't see. I hit a couple of food cards. Hold on, hold on. Why didn't we just wave Walker in there and wave Walker out? Because That's... it was your plan. I was following your plan, man. Like, oh. if you wanted my plan, Brack had like a splendiferous one. Like, I could have just, you know, did a few things. Could have hid in the gourd while you snuck in, popped out the gourd, boom, grabbed Junk, pulled him back into the gourd, you sneak back out, bow, we win. Yeah, there, there were a ton of different plans, but you know, Brack went with yours, and now my feet hurt. <laughs> so, besides those two, how come everybody else is awake at this time? My answer's kind of obvious, but sh I don't sleep. Uh, leave. I I noticed them sneaking out, so I wanted to make sure they came back. Hmm. <laughs> Victor, what are you doing behind the couch? It doesn't matter, okay? We can- It we matters! Don't, <laughs> don't need to talk about it. it. It's- I was also waiting for them to come back, as a matter That's of fact. That's a lie, Victor! It is kind of odd, Victor. <sighs> anyway, you guys have a good night, huh? This is, uh- Oh you know, my god, Victor! <laughs> Look, if I go with you to the dance tomorrow, will you tell me what you were doing? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Sure. What were you doing? <laughs> I guess, I guess the truth is out. I guess I can't hide it any longer. He reaches behind the couch and pulls out a little pan. I was making scrambled eggs. Perfecting oh my God, technique. Victor, I Perfecting, out of here, protecting bro. my, you know, the technique. Bro. Scrambled eggs. Poached eggs, eggs over easy. You know, I was trying everything, and I have like a little bit, a little, uh, a little. Uh, what's it called? Victor, the sweet has a kitchen. Why are you cooking Eden behind grabs the Victor couch? by the lapels of his jacket, Victor. Well, uh huh? Yeah. There's hey, a kitchenette. We're going to dance tomorrow, huh? There's it's a fun. kitchenette, dear. I with the kitchen. Leaf just sitting there. I mean, you know. Why I, not? I didn't know you were there that whole time. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's not all gang up on Victor, all right? And I pull out a spoon. Where are these eggs? Here you go. Where yeah, are these give them eggs? to him. He Here hasn't eaten real food in a long time. He's, he's hmm. going to put something nasty on him like a CD. I don't necessarily know if Victor's eggs are real food, Brack. <laughs> David, David, why were you up? Can you taste them, David? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm completely nervous about tomorrow. Don't mind me. Totally Aww, normal thing. Aw, why are you nervous? Uh huh? Why are you nervous? The person I just fought is my date tomorrow or to today, she I guess. She felt so bad, though. By you can way, play the pity card. By the way, David huh? had zero interaction with her the rest of the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. No texts or anything. From either I mean, of you, that. you know. It is what it is. Anyways, let's oh. try these eggs. Oh, no. All right. You give them a taste. Not bad. Hmm. Not bad, Victor. They're, they're like you know a little what, overcooked. They're a little overcooked. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Above the table. Above the table, real quick. <laughs> so you mean to tell me <laughs> What's up, Victor man? was behind the couch? Yeah. Where one might sit and rest their their buttocks? No. Making eggs. No. 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 Hey, no. That's where he was getting that natural was, gas. The from. Eggs <laughs> are overcooked. He, he was behind the couch. Joe, do not split hairs <laughs> with me here. Answer I mean, the question. Yeah, it's probably this man different. making overcooked <laughs> eggs <laughs> under the couch. Yes, what's Bro, so weird about that? Come on. I'm not gonna lie. 
I wish we just didn't know the truth, bro. I wish I wish we just left it a mystery, alone. <laughs> bro. Well, with that, we should probably all head to bed. Eden, I'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna have some fun and uh, yeah, sleep well, everybody. Ta ta. Oh my, oh my God. I wanna go soak my feet. <laughs> all right, you all go to your respective rooms. Start preparing for the night. Laura sends you a message, Woo, basically confirming that she'll be there tomorrow. And she apologizes if she, she'll be just slightly late, but she'll try to be on time. Uh, okay, everyone else, head to uh, to sleep. Uh, Hannah, do you want to cut? Should we cut to you? Or are we good? If you want. Eden. Mm hmm. You are lying in bed. I'm going to be scarce on the details, but you, after a couple of hours of sleep, you experience the nightmare. Mm -hmm. And you, you wake up sweating and out of breath. Just one night. Oh, just one fucking night. <sighs> she, like, listens to see if, like, anyone else had woken up from her unfortunate nightly activity uh you can roll perception i will roll perception that's a natural 20. okay no one is was woken up by it okay at least you don't hear anything <sighs> she like sits up in her bed and looks over at the unopened bottle of alcohol <laughs> that's still left over yep yep and she's just like, ugh. Just kind of shakes her head and she'll pull her quiver from the side of the bed. And she does some fiddling with a per certain part of it. A little side pops open. She reaches in and pulls out something. Mm -hmm. Something she hasn't looked at in a very, 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 very long time. And she curls up back in bed and looks at this thing and just kind of holds it until okay. she might go back to sleep. Perfect. The night continues on until it's the morning. The night continues risen. on until the morning. That's right. You know, I feel like I should probably explain how the day and night cycles work, just in case people are Thank aware. you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. I know it's like a tower, so it can be a little confusing. <clears throat> but yeah, you all wake up. It's the morning. It's the morning of the dance. You've been told that the dance is going to take place at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Uh, and when you check the door, there are packages, large packages, and each of your names are on the package. I'm gonna say it's like 10 a.m. Oh, morning, everyone. You ready to have some fun tonight? It's Ugh. here. Huh? The packages have arrived. Oh, okay. Awesome. This one has your name on it. Mine? Excellent. Yeah. All right, thank you, Damien. I pull out a frog hockey stick and I, I, I pass it to him. You, you really didn't have to do that, man. But that's, that could be fragile, you know. You, you, that was unnecessary. Oh, sorry. Double B, I have yours right here. I do a slap shot. Let's go! Brack's feet hurting from last night. As he hits the slap shot, he walks forward. Brack walks forward. He trips over the package, fall on the ground. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. That was, oh, that, that one was from last night. I think. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh. It was just supposed to be a funny gag. My feet. You still hurt. Can I? Can I see if my package is there too? Yeah, and I do like one of those, like you know, I I, I, I flip it up in the air. Wrist shot. I, Wrist yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I, I flick the the package in the air and I pass it to him. She catches it. Thanks, and she goes into her room and shuts the door. Good save. Oh, all right. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Victor just opens his package up and looks inside. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. <sighs> uh, 
This one I have, and I like, I, I have it balancing on the stick. I pass it over to Eden. Eden is Eden's not, not actually there. there. Yeah. Okay, I pass it over to Wu. No, <laughs> you you touch my package with that stick, and I'm gonna break it in half. Oh boy! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I you mean, do, what do you do, Dave? Hockey, hockey sticks are relatively cheap. No, they're not. Huh? Yeah, they are. Sorry, that was try it, bro. Like, try me. Oh. Try me. Uh, we have the professional hockey player here. Uh, <laughs> All right, I do. <laughs> okay. You don't do anything. Okay. Yeah, no, I do it. I, he does I, it. I do it. I didn't give you a slap shot. I didn't even have my character sheet up for this episode, so I don't <laughs> oh, think I no. need it, bro. Oh, so, hold on. What are you trying to do? Okay. What's, he, what's he rolling, and then what do I have to do to not have my yeah, hockey yeah, stick yeah. break in half? We'll, we'll do a little battle of rolls. Yeah, we're gonna do, I, I'm trying to think <laughs> of what the best thing is to roll for here. Oh. Let's go with athletics to grab the stick. You're trying to, yeah, sure. Damien, I'm going to say you can use athletics or... Or, sli or slide a hand. Is slide a hand better for this? Slide a hand would be like if you're trying to grab it or so. I am trying to grab it, but I'm trying to grab it and break it. Okay, oh. I'll say sleight of hand works. And then Damien, well, you can I, roll... I'm, I'm already hand. handing it to him. He doesn't have to sleight of hand it. I mean... You're handing it to... Oh, you're giving me what? the hockey stick? No, I'm, I'm, I have the, the package balance on top of the hockey stick, you know? Oh, you didn't hit it. No. Oh. Man, yeah, fine. All right, yo, you gotta be all hyped up for nothing. Yeah, I'll take the package. Right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Cut, the, cut the music. Cut the music. <laughs> it was all <laughs> the, the most intense battle that never was. Yeah. All right, all and right. then I guess since Eden's not there, I do a fun little bicycle kick to hit <gasps> the package to the door. <laughs> okay. Because I've run, out of, I've run right. out of hockey moves. Right when you do that. Uh, you hear a knock on the door. Is it at the Someone gonna get Victor for a door. <laughs> Got it. And he just runs to the door. Oh, who could it be? He opens the door. Hey, uh, you should probably be in bed. Uh, I feel like. How are you moving? You you okay? Fine. Oh, whoops. Just hey, uh, come in, come in, come in. He leads Jong into the room. Hey, hey guys, uh, we have company. Uh, we have company. Hey, you okay, man? You still, you still got your injuries and stuff. What said? What are you doing here? Uh, sit down. Sit down. Do the nurses know that you're here? Are uh, of course they don't. The nurses said that I could stay awake in bed. Oh my God. But that technically I was good enough to move. So I moved. I'm fine, I just. And he, the way he's moving, he's, you can tell that he is stiff. Uh, he is like, he's able to take a step at a time, but like it must've taken him a while to even get here. Why are you pushing yourself so hard right now? You need to rest. No. Rest is the last thing I need. I'm fine. I have... I have to be able to walk this off. Trace Velger hops into your shoulder and looks at you with concern. Look. I'm just, I'm just asking you guys to trust me. I have to be able to endure this. Please. I'll be fine. Brack, what do you think? Well, and Damien, sorry, go ahead, Damien. Oh, I was going to say, well, Mr. Endurance, would you like a glass of water? Seemed to be a bit out of breath. Fine. Yeah. All right. And then I hop back onto my feet after my 
stunning bicycle kick that I was mm -hmm. sprawled out on the floor, and I go get him a glass of water. All right, all right, all right. Hey, well, since you're up and about, here. He hands you a package when you sit down. Your suit for today. Even if we're going to bring you there in a wheelchair, we could request one. I mean, you're, you know, better than nothing, right? Zhang just stares at the package. No. I'm fine. What do you mean you're fine? I, if you are fine, then would it that mean you'd want to go to the dance? I think that's what he means. He's not going to miss this for anything, you know? He's, for the first time in his life, he has a date. This is a big deal. Victor, shut up. Well, if I knew you were going to break out, I wouldn't have tried to break you out last night myself and get my key card stolen. Oh, well. Chong just looks up at Will and then he kind of chuckles. <laughs> okay. Brack, any comments from you? I don't think you should push yourself that hard. The battle you fought was kind of intense. I understand that you said you're okay, but we had little young try to heal you with his blessing. Leaf tried to heal you with her what? abilities. And there was a ton of other things that happened. Wait a minute. You did what? You you sound better. See, all you gotta do is upset him. He'll get better. So you guys are so One glass of water for my friend and buddy Jong. Jong takes a glass of water. Look, from this day on out, until I say it's okay, do not let Seal Yong near me, especially with that necklace. Hey, guys, what do you think? And Leaf, John? Uh, and she runs over to you and she tries some healing. How are you even walking? Leaf, I'm fine. No, 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 hold on. And she's just slowly healing you. you, you the, <laughs> the, 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 the most it does is take away a sliver of pain, but not much. That would explain why little Young was a little perturbed as to a memory that was hitting him in his head. So, what, John? Why don't you want little young near you? Well, in case you've forgotten, Brack, Signe is currently living in my head. Signe's power is derived from the blessing. Do I need to say any more? No, but do go on. Look, it's a bad idea for Seal Young and or the necklace to be anywhere near me till I'm certain that Signe no longer poses a threat. Don't need any excuse or any edge to give her. You notice any change now? She's, um... She's been quieter lately. Could be waiting for a moment to strike. That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. Look, I'm let's thinking. not let's not stay all doom and gloom. Uh, we have a dance to prepare for, everybody. We should make sure our outfits are good to go. We should make sure we're uh, ready. A lot of us have dates. Looking forward to to some good dances. <laughs> right, Brock? Nudges you. <laughs> My dances with the buffet. My dances with the buffet. Y'all can have fun with, you know, your partners and whatnot, but I got the best partner of them all. It's called food. F-O-O-D. Food. Keep it in mind. Uh, what are you going to do for the leader dance, then? What you mean? I got food. I mean, isn't there... There's a, a whole dance? plate. You're going to hold up a turkey and dance with it? What do you... What's no, it I didn't say a turkey. Dad? I said a plate. <laughs> Oh, right. 
Um, I'm going to say a, a little bit of time passes. Um, so I'm going to now say it's around noon. A little bit more time is passing. Y'all are just kind of doing your own thing, preparing. You know, a couple of members of the other teams may have stopped in briefly just to say hi. And, you know, but but overall, a pretty uneventful so far. I'm going to say 12, 1230. Uh, I want to press y'all real quick. Okay. You in your room? Yep, he's in his room. Uh, who knocks on the door? Come Yo. In. And you notice it, it takes a minute. Mind if I sit? I'm gonna sit. Sure. Come on in. I know physically you're not doing okay, but how about mentally? What was that during the fight? Before and after you took the pill? Look, we'll... I don't know. My honest read on it is... Lately, I'm just so unsure of who I am. And, and John kind of looks down at his hands. What I'm capable of. But 24 hours for just one day. I don't want to worry about any of that. I don't want to worry about me. I just want to be the guy that makes sure that Xion has a good time tonight. That's my goal. Nothing else. Well said. Well, if you want to be the guy that makes sure Xion has a good time tonight, you can't show up looking all ragged, can you? So, I know you want to endure and everything, but how about you spend some time in the gourd? Recuperate. Suffering there. By the time you come out, it should be good for the dance. Actually, I won't put you in storage space B if that's what you're worried about. Actually, I had a different offer. To make you. Hmm. That gourd of yours. Still got any alcohol left? It kind of never really runs out, so yeah. I'm going to need some. Uh... I did tell you how this stuff works after I discovered it, right? You, you sure you want to drink it? And he just stares at Wu, dead in the eyes. Positive. All right. Wu pours out a glass and pours a small amount of the alcohol into it. Here you go. All right. John picks up the glass. Here, I'll have one with you. Cheers. Box it back. <coughs> All right, warn you. Do you drink this poison on the regular? <clears throat> Not for the last few months, no. First time. How do you feel? Is disgusting. I'm gonna need more. Take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. Pace no, yourself. Uh, not right now. I mean, just a little for backup, just in case. And then he goes into his go. He's like, ah, right, oh. uh, here we go. And he pulls out a pack of alcohol that he has that's separate from the the liquor that he normally drinks. Have some of this. You don't want to drink this stuff. I'm telling you. Not going to be good for your mental state if you're trying to have a good time. Okay. Thank you, Will. Sure you don't want to rest in the gourd? Look, I know it may not make much sense to you all, but... That fight... What happened to me?
can't let it keep me down like this all the time. I have to get used to it. Just when I think we've lost touch with each other, it seems like we're on the same page. You know me, John. I'm always going to respect your wishes above all else. So if that's what you want to do, I got your back. You always do. And then Wu kind of ruffles his hair a little bit. Okay. You're my brother, after all. Don't get too drunk. Shia's not going to like it if you're sloppy. All right, get out. I'm going. All right, so... What do you mean by that? <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is from five million. This is from five. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm going to say now it's like 1 p.m. You all are all preparing and, 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 you know, Victor's maybe playing uh, some dice or something. But then eventually Leaf says, hey, guys, um, Eden's still in her room. Is that fine? Because I feel like she's going to want time to prepare. I know it's going to take me a little bit of time. And... I'm, I'm sure she's fine. Uh, maybe she's sleeping, so that would be good, right? Anyone? Uh, Who's she talking to? Just everyone in the, in the middle of it. Because I'm assuming, oh, okay, I'm okay. going to assume that you all are kind of, you know, walking back just, and forth in okay. different areas, preparing and stuff. So just kind of everybody. Got you, got you. I'll go check on her. Uh, Please Victor. allow me to do it. Oh. <laughs> hmm? Why don't we all wanna... go check? Mom, come on, everybody. Let's go see the... I, I, Maybe I she think... actually slept. You know, we could congratulate I, her. I think it would be best if we don't make a big scene. Okay. But if her date for tonight and the leader of the team go check on her. Vice leader, would you like to come? I would love to. And don't worry, little leaf. Edens are our speciality. Show. I don't know what he mean by that little bit, <laughs> but we'll do our best. Wait, so so you want you want you, Damien, Victor to go check on her? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Guys, just please be gentle. Gentle is our middle name. We're not no, gonna clang pots together or anything, don't worry. Of course not. Then I put the pots down. <laughs> I was just putting those away. Uh, oh everyone kind of ignores you, and then they walk up to the door. Victor slowly knocks. Hello, hello. No response. Kind of turns back. Eden. And he slowly turns the knob. It's unlocked. He slowly opens it. Uh, when the door opens up, uh, there's some light coming in from a window. Uh, Hannah, you want to describe what Eden's looking like? Yeah, so she is curled up in kind of like a fetal position on her bed under the covers. And she's holding something in her hand. And you can see that there's some tear marks on her face. But she is resting. And probably more comfortable than you've seen her rest in a very, very long time. Mm. Rack pulls back Damien, and he, ha he says, Victor, go check. No, That's I, I, probably for the best. Uh, no, c come here for a sec, guys. Kind of leads you in. Mm. What's that? What's she holding? That is none of our business. It's important to her since she's clutching it before she went to bed. Guys, is she okay? Lee turns the corner. What? Victor ends up slowly reaching over, slowly pulling whatever it is out. Well, on one hand, she is sleeping. On the other, she looks like she's been crying. What should he, we do, Leader? Victor has already taken the thing and kind of walked back over to you all, and he's just staring at it. And it looks like from the back, it looks like some kind of photo. Mm. And Leaf ends up going over there. 
Is it Victor, really okay to be looking at this? Victor, have you seen this before? Uh, no, uh, can't say that I have. And he ends up showing you, uh, look at my screen. Smart man, smart man. Mm. Winter's just kind of staring at it. Ah, uh, that must have been the family that she told me about. They look so happy. Yeah. Probably looked at this and thought about better times, and it uh gave her the ability to sleep. Hmm. You know, uh, should I just put this back, or uh, yeah, we absolutely need to put, put this it back, back, Victor. Put it back exactly how you found it. Do not let her know we were even in here. What? We should be honest about it, that we saw it. We'll be honest after the dance right now. And if she knows that we seen that and she might not want us to know right now, Brad. we just got to <gasps> leave. You're so fucking loud. What are you? Victor just puts it behind his back. Uh, hey, hey, Eden. Uh, good, good morning. Good Victor, give it here. Good morning. No, shut up, shut up. Victor, give it here. Shut up, Brett. It's, it's too late. She's awake. Like, what do you what do you want us to do? We're, we're going to take it? Hey, She's awake. uh, Eden? Yeah. You, uh, were crying last night. She kind of, like, wipes her eyes. Yeah, I guess it was. Hey, Eden, uh, <sighs> he just sighs and he just hands it back to you. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, that's why y'all are in here. Um, can can I assume that Wu would have tried to check to see what was going on during all this, or? Uh, Wu can hear everything. Okay, okay. Wu was just playing Tower Mon on the couch, listening. Okay. <laughs> that's not why we're here. We're not here to snoop. We were wondering if you were okay. That's fair. It is late in the day, and the dance what? is going to start soon. It's I'll okay. wait. There's still time. It's only one o'clock. I mean, we still have a few hours, so don't worry. We. Oh, I man. wanted to make. I wanted to make sure you had enough time. But um. yes, <laughs> you being a lady, of course, you would also you would appreciate more time to prepare. I imagine. No, that's. <laughs> it works. Well, you're not supposed to tell them that. Like you're supposed to ease into it. But like I know you need time to prepare. So allow me to just get out of your hair like something like that you gotta be a little bit more what am i telling you this for you have like five different dates like eden um hey you have eden. five dates that's allowed oh my god eden don't mm -hmm. the boys eden, are very don't... loud this morning <laughs> yeah, and else is... it's the afternoon um, you... it's morning for me damien um, eden. remember how much i like sleep on the second floor Eden, uh, do you need anything? I can get you like water, or uh, you want something to drink, or uh, a snack maybe, because you you slept for a long time. Uh, maybe um, I can run down and grab something to eat for you. No, I'm I'm good. I'm good. It worked. Peter. Hmm. Did you cry yourself to sleep? I guess I did. After I uh, had one of those uh, really bad nightmares where uh, I was I was the one that that killed them, and I had to see that they were okay at some time. And I haven't looked at those. I 
haven't looked at them in a long time. So I bucked up the courage and they helped me sleep at the end of it all. Hmm. Yeah. Thanks for waking me up. It is getting late. We need to get ready. <sighs> Victor just uh, walks over to you and he kind of sits down in the bed next to you. And then he just wraps his arms around you and pulls you in for a hug. And she just takes it. <laughs> just a few seconds, then he kind of backs away. Hey, uh, let us know if you need anything. No, I'm, I'm good. That's what she looked like. <laughs> That's what we all looked like. And then Leaf says, she was really beautiful. She sure was. <laughs> right before they took her. But we have a ball to prepare for. Leaf, I need to help you do your hair. Victor. Oh, you don't have to do that. I, I can really, I wouldn't want to impose or anything, but. No, sure. she needs help. Normally, Mizo does it, and he does a crappy job. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't Sounds given like... Mizuru enough cookies for him to do a good job, so I've got He's it. He's a greedy I'm... little monkey. He doesn't need any more cookies. <laughs> it sounds like this is a job for Damien Frog. No, 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 no. Keep your scissors away. Keep your scissors away. I want to get <laughs> 10, 30 feet away. Top. A minimum. I hate going to forget to grow back. <laughs> oh, no. You know that the I have an excellent hair care routine. <laughs> No, really, Damien, I, I'll, I'll have Eden do it. I'll have Eden help. I can, I, I got it, Damien. Don't worry. Mm, suits yourself. <laughs> Look, I can even do your hair, Damien, if, if you would like me to. Mm -hmm. I can oh, do your hair. Oh, that's okay. Actually, I can you do my mine? Forever. <laughs> hey, Eden, can you do mine? Can we what? Can you do my hair? Sure. I haven't done anything with this in a while. I have no clue what to do. Mm. Oh, nice. And you're trying to impress Laura. Hmm. Ooh, well, yeah, I can't look like a bum next to such a beautiful woman. Hmm. Let me. I can't believe I'm saying this. Wake up a little bit, and um, me, me, let me think of some ideas. Sounds good. Excellent. Excellent. On their conversation, Brack pulls Victor to outside of the room to the side. Hey. Hey. Um. You're taking Lita to the dance, right? Yeah. You know. Just, uh. Yeah, I am. Yeah. What's up? Okay. Your force order as, uh, the new position that Wu gave you. You know, Masper or Whispers, you know. Um. Uh, this doesn't have anything to do with Eden, does it? It does. Try to make sure that the leader just has a good time. Just do enough to make her forget about the issues that she have. Just for a moment, even if it's just for five minutes. I, Brack, I... Thanks for the reminder. I'll, I'll try my best. But I better be paid overtime. You get what you get. Don't, don't, don't push it. This is, this is syndicate slash our team our family business like just family run family operated uh -huh. exactly just on this one time i i, I never asked you for anything just <laughs> going on a this date one time. A beautiful That's woman and you want to be paid for it <laughs> I, damien it's called a joke i believe you are aware of such dare a you <laughs> why are you why are you looking at me like that hmm? like what Come on. Oh, oh, oh about are, them too. <laughs> are you are you offended that I didn't ask you to the dance? Mm hmm. Is that what's going on here? No, not at all. Ah, I mean, right. I bet if we went to the dance, it would have been a crazy Kenny, experience. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. Eden is standing in the doorway, listening to all of this. And no, watching. nothing, Eden. It, uh, just just some jokes between friends. Just some jokes between buddies. You know, I don't have to go. It's fine. Like, leader, you know, leader, maybe I take Fawn we, we at this point. Oh. 
Fallen. Didn't realize mm -hmm. you two were so acquainted. Oh, really? I've never Wh spoken to her in my life. I thought you ah, that fall. Oh, you mean my oh, that's my date though. <laughs> well, apparently you want to go with Victor so badly now. <laughs> Eden, don't worry. We're just I'm just having a good time. Just having a good time. I mm, I worry about what your what you guys classify as good times. <laughs> Gabriel's uh, elementary response of like, but that's my date. <laughs> <laughs> my definition of good time is magnets. What? Magnets are cool. I thought it was chocolate oh. bars. Hmm? Nothing. Oh, that's serious <laughs> business, Leaf. Right, right. Um, I'm gonna say that time is passing by as you're all helping each other prepare. You're getting your outfits ready. They're helping Jong, Jong you're being assisted, you know? Uh, I'm gonna say Leaf kinda tells you, uh, just, just to make sure you're on the same page with everybody, she tells you um, about uh, what happened with Eden and everything with her, just to make sure you, you understand. And But yeah, everyone's kinda helping each other, preparing for the ball, preparing for the grand event. And you all are looking fan Fantastic. I'm going to say it's 5.30, half an hour before the main event, before the ball. And you all, you see each other, you're ready to head to the event. But we're going to take our break before we head to the event. So da -da -da -da. don't go anywhere, anybody. Enjoy the memes and fan art. Thank you all so much. And when we return, we got some special surprises for you. So we'll, uh, we'll see Surprise. you soon. Surprise! Memes and Feral.
way is the goat! The goat! <laughs> There's nothing I can do.
Welcome back, everybody, to Towers and Gods, episode 53. Thank you so much for all the memes and fan art. We hope you all enjoyed. Um, we really appreciate it. Throughout the, you know, this is the end of the year. Uh, your meme and fan art game stepped up like crazy throughout this year. Getting better and better. Uh, it's just been so much fun. Whether it's scrolling through the server and just seeing on a post-by-post -post basis or seeing them here in the break. So I want to thank everybody, not just for today, but for a year's worth of memes and fan art because it's all been awesome. And uh, you can join the Discord to submit your own. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be on break after this episode, so memes and fan art, you know, <laughs> let's see them over the break and I'll somehow fit them into the next episode. We're gonna figure out a way to uh, make that easier. But thank you all so, so much for that. Join the Discord. Thank you, Light and Sharky. There, the link is in the chat there if you want to uh, join in on the fun. With that said, though, let's begin. So, after prepping and after a quick elevator ride down... All seven of you from Team Recall arrive at the ballroom. The ballroom, which looks so much more elaborate than the last time you saw it. Jong, you remember being here talking to Elias. They went all out in preparing this huge room. It is pretty incredible. Uh, there are various ornaments and things hung everywhere, uh, tables filled with food along the corners of the room. You've got like all kinds of drinks and punch and alcohol that's all set up along the tables. And then an entire center with tables uh, that leave still room for dancing. But right now it seems that people are sitting down, preparing to eat. And at the very back of the room is a grand staircase, two staircases that kind of meet in the middle and come on down. And there's a huge window behind the staircase, and you can see there's like a, a crescent moon uh, filling the sky as it's getting darker. But yeah, you look around, everyone is looking very fine. Everyone is, uh, they're all wearing their best. And you kind of just look at each other, you know? Uh, Jong, you're not feeling the, the, the greatest still. Uh, you're stiff. You're able to walk, but you don't think you're going to be doing any dancing tonight. Um, but yeah, you all look at Jong. Boom, Jong is ready for the ball. Go. Look at this boy. Look like you're about to sell me a That's Tesla fire, right now. Dude. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> John looking snazzy. But you said he's stiff. Wait, how, how are you on the alcohol, my guy? I think I, I've got enough for tonight. No, no, I mean like how much has he consumed up to this point? Oh, metagaming. Yeah. Oh well, he's he's not, hasn't he? Not, nothing other than what he drank okay. before. Okay. He's okay. Okay. For, right, for cool. a special awesome. occasion. Awesome. Uh, you all turn to look at Eden. Holy fuck! Oh wait, my. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. All she needs is some cast and nets. Yo. Okay. okay. Oh, we're getting our tokens okay. changed. This is so cool. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. There's... Oh, the... yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that. shit. Fire, I even fire, fire. fire. Mama knows awesome. how to clean up. I gotta see Damien. Like, I gotta I'm see Damien. He, 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 he with the number... <laughs> You, I got it, Damien. You all turn mm -hmm. to look at Damien Frog. Hey, oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I love oh, him. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> man got back from the golf club, bro. <laughs> this is a horrible event. Greetings, everyone. Did I just this get 18 is... holes, bro? <laughs> I'm looking very warm today. This is a formal event. Says <laughs> who? What you mean? This is Eden talking directly to Damien. <laughs> this is a formal event, Damien. I let my hair down and I'm wearing a sweater. Uh, <laughs> formal formal means like three piece suit and a tie or a bow tie or a tux. Oh, oh. I, 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 love, I love it, Damien. Yeah, it's it's did I, for, did I forget <laughs> one piece? No, you, you look can great, never man. forget one piece. You look, oh my God. You, you look great, Damien. You look great. Uh, speaking of great, you all turn to look at Wu, who was assisted by Eden. Thank mm -hmm. you. Oh, yes. You. 
Okay. She took inspiration from Boris and Ace and made his hair nice and cute. Nice. That's canon. That's canon. Let's see it. There you go. Woo, this might be the first time I've ever seen you. I was going to say looking nice. I didn't mean it like that, but you, you know what I mean. Just a little, you know, you, it looks good. It looks good. My nephew, even like wraps an arm around him, knows how to clean up nicely. We got all the five o'clock shadow off. We got his hair out of his eyes. He looks snazzy, don't you, little nephew of mine? Wusha scratching his face like super embarrassed. Like, I just want to look nice for her, right? Leave me alone. You look fantastic. And if she doesn't think you look nice, she's going to have to answer to me and Zushi, okay? Okay. And then you will turn and look at Brack. Oh no. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Ian is like trying not to mess up her makeup, and if she could, she could she would face home right now. She's just like, oh my gosh. Oh my god. Again! What oh is it with god. the syndicate? This is a formal event. <laughs> okay, so like Jong is shaking his head, but above the table, no fucking notes, bro. You fucking killed me. <laughs> Looking good, Breck. We went we went the Christmas colors, I see. <laughs> Yes, you know, uh, I'm Jolly St. Nick today, and uh, all I'm asking is for you to feed me. Not cookies, but delicious meats. Let's get it. My cookies were delicious, Brack. You um, ate most of them. I, I, thank you. You're welcome. So I'm, I'm going to be honest and just not get anyone's hopes up. Uh, I only have a, one other member of Team Recall who has art. Uh, I, we didn't have time for the... I apologize, okay? But I'll, I have descriptions. Uh, you turn and look at Victor. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, damn. Victor, Victor. Hey. Yeah, there you go. Hello, Sarah. Does oh. he have an earring? Hello. He does yeah. have a blue earring that is dangling from one ear. I can't see. Oh, oh. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Nice. man has his yeah. hair down. Okay, okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with this. Okay. okay. You okay with this? <laughs> I'm okay with this. Hair, tw okay. hair twirl. Hair twirl. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, I have descriptions here though. Uh, okay. You're you're walking into the ball. Okay. I had this. This. If you're wondering, this is what took me all day. Uh, okay. Let me see. <laughs> Control F. Leaf. Okay. So Leaf. Uh, again, no no art for Leaf, but Leaf is wearing a long. Blue dress, uh, her hair has been straightened and it's falling down her back. And her dress is kind of fringed with silver on her wrists and shoulders. And she also has silver earrings that are dangling uh, from her ears. Thanks. There you go. It took a long time for Eden to straighten all of her hair, but like it got done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Eden. I know it can be hard to work with sometimes. It looks amazing. Thanks. You're going to turn all the heads. She just looks embarrassed. But yeah, you're seeing a bunch of people there. Uh, you know, it's like five minutes before, uh, officially before six, but you're seeing a bunch of people there having a good time. Notably uh, loud and proud who have already, they're, <laughs> they're, they're pouring the punch, they're handing the punch out to the whole team and they're, they're saluting each other. The, the notable thing about Team Loud and Proud is that they it looks like they're all wearing the exact same thing, except <laughs> different colors. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't expect yeah. anything less. So, <laughs> so uh, uh, they're all wearing a suit and a bow tie. We have Taki with the white suit and bow tie, Min green, butterscotch brown, Dan. Okay, Dan's the only one that isn't matching. He's wearing an unkempt dress shirt with no bow tie. Yeah. And then <laughs> Folk, That's classic Dan, dude. Folk, <laughs> Folk is wearing a blue suit and bow tie. Walter, a black suit and bow tie. Ruka has an addendum in the chat. Taki needs to be in a pink suit. Come on. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. He's wearing a white suit. He's wearing a white suit. <laughs> his bow tie is pink. His bow tie is pink. And so is his, his square. Right, his yeah, of, square. Co of course, of course. The, the, the bow tie is pink. Does he have a pink cummerbund? Can he sure. have a pink cummerbund? <laughs> yes! Sure. <laughs> oh, because we're adding Let's go. <laughs> I got you, Ruka. I got you. <laughs> uh, okay, excellent. 
Uh, Huang So is also there, uh, and I'm gonna make a brief like addendum because I know I've described Huang So before, but I'm gonna re-describe her. Uh, this is if if this is different from the original description, that is this is the this is the official one. Anything else was retcon. Uh, she has her her red hair. It's like shaved, almost shaved on one side, and it's like long on the other side, kind of styled that way, falling down the back. Uh, it's like you can tell it's like dyed dark red hair. It's not exactly natural. Uh, and she's wearing what she always does, like the leather jacket and everything, but she did kind of add a tie, just for fun, like a red tie. <laughs> and she actually seems to be kind of like laughing at everyone with the punch and, and Taki and Min. So there you go. Surprise, but a welcome one. But where's Mozzie? Taki, where's your date? <laughs> Taki? Uh, you, you, you look over and you see Mozzie on the other end of the room, just kind of lighting a, lighting a cigar. <laughs> Oh, she seems no. to be just, <laughs> just kind of off doing her thing, you know? She's Damn, wearing like bro. a black uh, sparkling Taki dress. Taki really said bros before hoes. That's uh, crazy, she's bro. She's wearing a tight <laughs> sparkling That's black crazy. dress. Brother, what are, you, what are you doing, sleeves. brother? What are, what are you doing? Hmm? What is this? Ooh, you look, dude, you're looking amazing, hey, 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 may, may I say? My, my, relax. Relax. Dude, you look clean. Thanks. Where, where's your date? Hmm? She's over there. And you don't think that maybe you should, you know, invite her over here? I, w I mean, I'm just having some fun. You know, she said she wanted to, she was taking a smoke break, so. Oh, they're not going to work, bro. They're not going to work. <laughs> what's, what's wrong? You, you, have, you have a look at your face. Nothing. If that's how you want to run your night, far be it for me to stop you. Thanks, man. Hey, you have a good night, too, all right? <laughs> And then I grab a glass and I raise it to Min. <laughs> he just kind of, you know, gives you a little eyebrow raise and lifts his own glass back at you. Uh, and then eventually, uh, Dixon walks up. Min, uh, hey, what's up? And she she walks up and Dixon, she's wearing a light pink ball gown with ruffles in the dress. And she she walks over to him and, hey, hey, come on. And she just joins in on the fun with everybody else. But yeah, it looks like there's still a few minutes left. Uh, the tables have been organized. There's like team names at each table where you can sit and uh, bring your oh, meal. Oh, fancy. So <clears throat> yeah, and the tables are elaborate candles and you know, they're a bunch of candles lit and you've got like little uh, little chocolates at each location and they went all out for this flowers, you know. Um, Brack doesn't see Maggie, does he? You don't yet. Okay, cool. Oh, he said yet though. He said yet. Yeah, no, no, I'm tied under these tables, my guy. <laughs> that's cool. I got, I got plans. We good. Oh, oh. no. Uh... Never mind. I'm scared for Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just uh, finding something there. Awesome. So yeah, eventually more and more people are coming in behind you. Uh, mostly, you know, the teams are kind of all walking in together and finding their little spots and everything. Uh, notably, you see that Stexa looks particularly happy, and she is dressed in a, a dark purple wrap dress and then re red earrings that match her uh, eye color. Uh, and Monica's there too. She's wearing a long, sparkling green dress. She doesn't have the hat, and she, her hair is tied into like a, uh, a tall ponytail. But she has the exact same expression. She's kind of looking <laughs> around the room. And you know she's still carrying her notebook, like, under her arm. But but she does look quite different, though, overall. Um, Bulwark is there. Oh, boy. He's wearing a yellow suit. <laughs> school bus man. Yellow no, suit no. And tie uh, over a white dress shirt. There you go. So there you go. Bulwark, you're dressed <laughs> like Dick Tracy. Oh no! <laughs> and uh, and then you notice that Boris is also there, uh, hey. but he, he his hair isn't changed; it's like the exact same, and he just has a white dress shirt and black pants. Hi. He's trying. Progress. It's progress. Hey guys! And Stexo uh, walks forward. Y you guys look amazing. <laughs> and she looks at Brack. <laughs> we we try. Is clearly embarrassed by two members of the party, but she's like, we try, we try. X, you already know, like, as the kids would say, the vibes. <laughs> you, you know the reason why I'm here. I, I, I didn't think you 
were serious uh, when you were saying that that's who you, uh, that that was your intention coming why, here. Why would you think he's not playing? <laughs> I guess never lied a day in his life. <laughs> For real, though. <laughs> but it, hey, go go ahead. <laughs> when it comes to food, and it comes to family. Brack is oh so serious, but even more so when it comes to food. Do you not see the bib, the cufflinks that says, Mr. B, I am here <clears throat> to eat. And sure. I hope you eat your fill. I hope you have a fun night. Also, uh, Damien, love it. You're looking good. Thank you very much. Stunning, I know. I was just feeling a little cold, so this is what I wore. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully uh, you warm up soon. Yeah, Stex. Hmm? And Wu kind of pulls her aside. You look great, by the way, but, uh... Oh, thanks. Did you ask her? <clears throat> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. And I take it because you're smiling, she said yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, she did, actually. I mean, it was just more of like a... It was basically just, you know, we, we anybody who wasn't paired with somebody, uh, I just offered to fill the slot. I was kind of surprised she said yes, though. She said it'd give her a chance to sort of study me up closer. I wasn't really sure what that meant, but- Excuse me? She said what? She said she wanted to study. <laughs> what, Joseph? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Well, you know, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. It's just Monica, uh, it's just Monica being Monica. Just uh, Monica have a good time and be honest. Nothing. Enjoy your study session. Okay. Uh. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> she just kind of walks. It was great to see you. A. Stex about to get an A plus. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. And then other teams are coming in as well. Uh. But overall, there's also a couple like waiters, and they're kind of leading you. They're kind of gesturing towards the table, asking you to take a seat. You know. Off to the seats we go. <laughs> awesome, awesome. <clears throat> and rings all of question. her toddlers. About the table question. How many What's tables that? are there? No, no. One per team. Alright, Brad goes with the team. Okay, okay fair <laughs> enough. You sit down, and then another team that ends up arriving. Uh, you see uh, Sil Young's team. You see Team Blessing. Uh, Sil Young is wearing a dark blue suit, pants and tie, black shoes. Looking very oh. similar to John, but he all, but despite the suit, he still has the rainbow scarf around his neck, all the same. Good. Hey, There's course, a signature course, look. Course, yeah, got it. Classic. Yeah. Of course, of course. Uh, <clears throat> Nameless isn't there with his team. Oh my that's god. Okay. Uh, he he seems to have been not there currently. Astrid is wearing a white top with a pink and black checkered skirt, uh, and her hair is curled, so uh, oh. falling down her back. So, Jason, uh, just imagine, like, this outfit, but yeah. yes. all black. All black instead of red and black. <laughs> That's the <laughs> only difference. That's the crazy. man knows how to dress for a Cobra table. Kai now. Wait, he still got the flip-flops, right? Please tell me he yeah, still he got does. the flip-flops. Okay. <laughs> he still has the flip-flops. He still has the flip-flops. In Eden's mind, she's like, suddenly, I'm not so worried about my team anymore. That's my friend. Like, you can't. This is just disgusting, bro. What is Jason? Eve's like, we got a solid, like, 60% turnout in the formal category. We did really Jason, well. Jason, this is why Shion will never okay. reciprocate. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm glad that was spitting. <laughs> Oof. Um, Nyal and Sif are there. Nyal is wearing a tidy gray dress shirt and bow tie. And then Sif has a dark green strapless dress with small gold hoop earrings. And they all They all go and sit down at their table. <laughs> Sharky, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'll, I'll describe other teams as time goes on. So, before long, the glasses kind of start to tink, and you notice that someone is starting uh, starting a little bit of a ting, 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 and other, other people start tinking their glasses, you know, with their <clears> spoons, <throat> and you see that the person who started it all, floating above everybody, is Oreo. He looks exactly the same, but he's wearing a black suit and tie, and oh. a very small one. 
Welcome, regulars, to the Grand Ball, the reward for all of your hard work during Battle Gamble and your final chance to rest before the final game that takes place tomorrow. We couldn't be more excited. May I reintroduce the judges who will be dining with us today? We have the illustrious, beautiful prodigy of the Yan family, Yan Milla. Milla? is wearing a fuchsia pink kimono with a blue yawn hairpin Ooh. in her hair. Oh, okay. There you go, there you go. Let's go. The famed light bearer from the second floor testing uh, center, Charity. Uh, Charity's wearing a blue bubble dress, kind of poofy, you know, and uh, same, same color as her, uh, as her suit there. And of course, Snap! And he's wearing the exact same thing. Nothing has, <laughs> not a single thing is changed. He's just... It's like, I got everything out on display there. <laughs> Snap. Does he own other clothes or is that just it? <laughs> That's a good question. Actually. I'd like to make it an end of that there's a slight patch of dirt on his pants. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Brack? Nah, I swear Snuff stinks, yo. Like, that's the same <laughs> outfit throughout this whole entire arc. Like, every day. The dry cleaning ain't that good. Like, I refuse oh, no. to believe it. I refuse to believe it. It don't no matter how much Divine Shinsu you're in. It ain't. That ain't getting the out them stains. <laughs> He's got the musk. Yeah, you're all accusing Monica of the musk? Come on. Um. <laughs> So you? No, I would never. I would never put Monica, disparage right. Monica over Snap, bro. Okay, never that. Okay. I'm glad we agree on that front. Okay. Um, but yeah, as he's making his announcement, um, Shion walks in. Uh, so Shion is wearing a a, a black skirt suit. So it's it's like a suit with a black skirt, edged with a white outline over a white button shirt and white heels. And she, at first, looks like she's going to walk over to where you guys are at Team Recall, but then she kind of realizes there's an empty seat over at Team Blessing, so she pivots and tries to walk in her heels over to the other, uh, to the Team Blessing table. <laughs> kind of tries to look casual, you know. The first event of the Grand Ball is, of course, the meals. The wonderful foods prepared by our famous chefs from all across the tower, coming uh, here only for this one event. Enjoy the meal, enjoy the food, because it's all you can eat, and I'm sure some of you will be quite oh. happy to hear that. Rock wave walkers <laughs> behind Oreo while he's in the air. He, he, he grabs him by the top of his head and he the, say, all you can eat. Uh, 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 please get off of me, uh, Mr. Mr. Brownson. I would appreciate I, it if you didn't. I, don't, uh, I understand, I will let you go. Uh, Repeat it. Uh, all you can eat for everyone. Never-ending buffet. You. I love you. Mwah. He gets him on his forehead and he falls back down. <laughs> Eden is like, has a sh look of horror on her face. Just like, oh my gosh. People are uh, laughing like audibly at that. And Oreo, <laughs> if a robot could look embarrassed, he is. His eyes kind of shift and he kind of just looks around. <sighs> back on topic. Enjoy the food. And then he kind of snaps his fingers, and then people start getting up and getting, gathering their food. There are foods from all over the tower. Anything that you've had on this tower is here in some way, shape, or form in this room. If you request a certain food, it takes two minutes, and, and they, they, they go into the back and get it for you. Woo. All of me is milk here. <laughs> you were going to ask that. Oh, no! As soon as you raised your hand, I was like, I already know. I already know what the question is. I already know. <laughs> <laughs> she said anything in the tower, bro. Hey, Jeez. Laura liked Ptolemy's milk, so like you're just looking out for your date. That's all, you know. No, 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 no. no, no. She's not getting none of that. So, <laughs> uh, do you ask one of the vendors? Yes. They they say one moment takes three minutes instead of two, and they get you a glass of Ptolemy's milk. No, I don't want a glass. I just want to know if it was here. Just bring me a. They confirm that it is indeed here. <laughs> Okay, just bring me all the alcohol you can from that side of the table. Thanks. <laughs> they start they start pouring glasses for you. And everyone else, we can just say you get whatever you want from all these uh, different people. But while you're in line, while you're getting food, you see a few other people from other teams. Note, the only team now that just is not present is Team Fate. They're not here, uh, notably. <clears throat> uh, but now you finally see Team Maggie, 
Oh, uh, they're all waiting in line. They just happen to be right behind you all in line. <laughs> Shocking. Uh, and they're they're waiting. Yeah, to get complete their food, accident. You know? I'm sure. <laughs> they're just waiting to get their food. Uh, she's wearing a spark. Like okay, when you look at Maggie's dress, it's a sparkling pink and blue dress, and it just looks familiar. Uh, Brack, since you're the most strawberry <gasps> water connoisseur, I know what it, it is. Looks exactly like Brooks. Pop oh my star god, bro. <clears throat> oh my god. It looks the so unmitigated goal. Of this teenager. (laughs) 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 Guys, ignore her. The the rest of the team, I mean, Jericho, gray suit and tie, Dr. Disco, white suit, everyone else looks pretty normal. Um, Mimithy has a red dress suit and a bow tie. I figured that was worth pointing out. Um, Bug is also there. Uh, Now... He looks quite different because Bug slicked back his hair with way too much gel. <laughs> he he is wearing a leather jacket, what? a black shirt and pants, and sunglasses. Oh Hell my no, god. No, no, no. <laughs> no. No. He's he's like there. Not you. The blue so he not looks you. like a cockroach, he's, is what you're shoulders, telling me. He seems to be standing taller than normal than usual. No, 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 no. He, he looks like a cockroach. He dressed like a cockroach, which is what he is. So here we are. Would I be able to recognize Absolutely ridiculous. Him? Yeah, you recognize him for sure. Okay. He spent Does he have a fedora him. on too? Probably, bro. Yeah, he doesn't. Probably. He doesn't have a fedora. Oh, okay. I was about to say, he's dressed just like the Blues Brothers. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, I was going to say Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator. Right. right. Um, but yeah, they're in line, and Maggie just says, How are you all doing? Not bad. A plus outfits, may I say, especially you, Eden. Thank you. You look nice yourself. Ah, oh, thanks. Appreciate that. Feel like I've seen that maybe a couple seasons ago. Yeah, that's Brooke. That's Brooks. Uh, yeah, we've seen that before. You know. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> My flight was so good. <laughs> Did you win a contest for that? Oh, look. That's hand tailored cool. by myself, and I happen to be a huge fan of all the idols and pop stars in the tower. Just took mm-hmm. a little bit of inspiration. Interesting. You made it from memory? Huh. Uh, no, I, ha- I had a reference, if I'm being honest. There, there's pictures, Damien. Oh. He's trying to dress like a tall can of strawberry water, but you're not fooling anyone. Be gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it this, was oh, nice talking to you. the strawberry water thing, right? That was like a weird brand deal she made. Oh, yeah. Hm. Oh, like you, Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> so like you. You really would try to pretend like, oh, oh, that is what that's from. No, you know exactly what that was from. You know what you're doing. I, I knew what it was from. It's just the fact that it came from a brand deal. Hm. Look, look, Double B, she's not worth your time. All right. She's too bright. Leave us. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. all get your food. Endless buffet. All I can eat. Okay. okay. Uh, Got the bib. The bib is good. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you all get your food and you go and uh, you sit back down without much other interruption. You're enjoying the meal. Anyone want to share? If you want to shout out what you got, that's fair too. Uh, if there's any important... <laughs> Any important details, you know what I mean? We got uh, 20 Mopey Bam steaks at the rally. No, I'm actually doing the Lord's work. Doing the Lord's work. 20, 20 Mopey Bam steaks uh-huh. with extra A1 sauce. A- to top it off on the side, we got some nice roasted small potatoes with some scallions on top. And to top it all off, we got us a 32 gallon just 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 <laughs> full of strawberry water on the side and we just eating chug eating chug we looking around making sure nobody ain't on our plate we like this <laughs> um, <laughs> um. amazing okay okay anyone else anyone else i have a bacon wrapped eggnog with a uh <laughs> a eight dollar, uh, an eight dollar steak from from a supermarket. <laughs> wait, wait, so you that add is, uh, that, is, that is microwaved? 
Requested it microwaved, huh? Mm hmm. Might be uh, pretty good. <sighs> Anyone else? Uh, I will say that Wu is not eating because he wants to wait for Laura to eat, so he's just drinking. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Jong, you're you're able to eat fine and everything, but moving around definitely made you a little bit sore. Your your muscles are tight. But you will get your food. <clears throat> you're eating, enjoying the discourse, time is passing by. We also have a special announcement to make. Nine teams participated in Battle Gamble, but one other team will be joining us for the final game. Please welcome Team Stranger! And the doors open up, and it's only four people on the team that walk in, and uh, they all look pretty ordinary. Uh, one of them appears to be the leader. He's got like sandy brown hair that falls really, really long hair, <coughs> dressed in a suit and everything. But yeah, Hugo slowly walks up behind them, takes his seat. Hugo is wearing, okay, if you look at his art here, he took off the vest and black pants and shoes instead. That's basically it. That's basically it. That's, that's fine. And he goes and sits down. He he kind of looks around and he he looks at you, Brack, and just kind of nods. Brack just toasts towards him like, hey. <laughs> Goes back to you. Great. And eventually, Wu, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, I'm late. And you see Laura standing behind you, and it's a very similar outfit to what she wore uh, at the Linquist dance event. She's wearing an orange pantsuit with a white dress shirt with a silver cross pin. Uh, pinned to the pantsuit in addition to her necklace. Got you. I just have to interject for all of my theory people out there. Team Fate is not here, and look who's here. <laughs> I'm just saying. And she's late. Look who's mm -hmm. here, out of breath, might we She's add. out of breath. Yeah. Like she's running but let me have this, ice. okay? Let me, just, let me just live in, in, in gleeful ignorance for a little while longer, please. You're welcome. Yeah. Thanks. Shushing now. <sighs> Sorry. You I'm made late. it. No, it's, it's it's okay. You look great. Thanks. And a waiter pulls up a chair for her, and she sits down next to you. Wow, this they were loud, huh? Oh, everyone remember Laura, right? Hi, everyone. Hello. Queen of the Beast. How's it going? Still calling me that, huh? <laughs> you know it until my darn breath. Good to see you, Laura. John kind of raises his hand, but then winces <laughs> and puts it on oh, back down. No. Okay, tries. Leaf, uh, Leaf smiles and waves at her. <sighs> I, I raise my bacon wrapped eggnog up <laughs> and raise my eyebrow. <sighs> yeah, uh, <clears throat> just just ignore all of them. It's uh, probably sure. for the best. Yeah. <sighs> How are things going here? Uh, ah, well, they're going. You know, things are happening. Uh, you want something to eat? I can go grab you something. I can I can go get it. That's no problem. But thanks. I'll go with you. Y'all should go together. Wu hasn't gotten any food yet. Wu, you you waited. You didn't have to do of that. Of course. Thank you. No, I, I did. Let's go. Uh, you head over there, and she says, "I like the look." Oh, thanks. That uh, you don't think it's too much? No, not at all. It, it suits you. And then. Wu kind of blushes a little bit. Thanks. Yeah. What um, kind of food do you want? Ah! Uh, surprise me. <laughs> she just laughs and. Ptolemy's milk. Ptolemy's milk. She starts. <laughs> she starts. That's above the table. Food. She starts getting food for for the both of you and <clears throat> various different kinds. Uh, she she notably grabs a steak for each of you. Uh, she asks you how you want it cooked. Uh, medium's good medium and she, she gets a medium as well uh she she thinks the ramen looks good so she gets a bowl of ramen she kind of laughs because she thinks it's they don't really match well together but uh, it definitely doesn't but you do you <laughs> <laughs> you told me to pick so i'm picking you asked for it 
And like Wu's just in his mind, just like, just don't let her see the milk. Just don't let her see the milk. <laughs> she goes over to the drink section, her eyes oh. perusing the various selections. And she just grabs alcohol. She grabs a bottle of alcohol. Just like, no, you know, draft beer, basically. Nice, nice, nice. We can deal with that. Looks good. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Maybe if I mix the steak with the ramen. Whoa. Um, you can try it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing comment. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's putting it together. She's doing the work. Uh, you all look over uh, and you see uh, Team Strive. They don't have they don't have every member. You notice that Kusith uh, is not present. But uh, Jerry is there. He has some bruises and some cuts. He's wearing an open uh, cashmere trench coat with a tight oh. black shirt and pants. And it's a long, <laughs> long trench coat. Okay. And he's sitting okay. there. Uh, and it's a trench coat tailored for all four of his arms. Aw. Uh, of course, of course. Oh, you know he's got a guy, bro. You know he's got a guy. <laughs> <laughs> on speed dial. Uh, Alphonse. Give me my coat. <laughs> no, no, my evening trench coat, Alphonse. <laughs> uh, Elias isn't there, but right, left, and center are, and they're all wearing like very similar things, just casual dress, uh, vest, and you know, gray long sleeve shirts. But Janice is also there. Uh, she's there with them, and she is wearing a cream maxi dress with a simple silver necklace, and she doesn't have her glasses on. Aww. Nice. Yeah. Does she still have the microphone? She doesn't. I don't know. Not a person. <laughs> <laughs> She's pulling out of her inventory. Like, I recognize her. Isn't she? <laughs> She's a career girl. She wouldn't just cut that way. <laughs> right, 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 right. Um, so yeah, I, I'm going to say time is passing by. We'll, we'll give a couple minutes here if you want to interact as a table. I will say, like, when Snep did show up, since we were moving through that quickly, yeah. like, Eden would have, like, lightly grabbed and squeezed Victor's hand under the table just because she's like, mm, I'm trying not to make a scene. I'm trying not to make a scene. But that sure. was way earlier. Yeah, he would have he would have definitely reciprocated and made sure, you know, made sure you were okay. Yeah. But she's keeping an eye on wherever the, the rankers are. She's like, mm -hmm. sure. Sure. where are you? She's also keeping an eye out for, um, you know, some certain members of Jihad's army that she may or may not have seen. Certain previous members days. of Jihad's army. I don't know what you're talking Scopio about. Scopio or Longinus. <laughs> you don't see Scopio or Longinus as of now. Damn. As okay. Of now. Uh, the judges kind of have their own table, like a, uh, a short rectangle sort of table, and they're all eating, and Charity's just talking Mila up a storm. <laughs> and Mila's just kind of smiling and nodding back, you know, and just, she, she's smiling. She seems like she's used to it. And uh, Sneff is just playing with his food with his forks ever so <laughs> oh every once God. in a while oh, he'll take man. the fork and he'll do one of that where he like his oh, 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 is that so that's perfect disgusting for him. dude oh, come on, oh my bro. god i just pictured that oh, i hate it man. Oh. in eden's monitoring of that does he ever look over her way not as of yet okay not as of yet oh bro Dude, Sneff be eating, Sneff be eating like the food critic from Ratatouille, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's what I imagined, literally. <laughs> he grinds his teeth and then he scrapes his teeth. This is nasty. Rest in the tower, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sneff would be like a food critic, you know, on the side. Uh, he would, sense. but only if he gets to kill the chefs he doesn't like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it's fair. Uh... Damien, you notice a couple eyes looking at you. Oh, it's harem, bro. <laughs> yeah, where's your date? You didn't go on your date. <laughs> you, you notice a couple eyes glancing over at you, and you see Vaughn and Fawn, but they kind of look away. Uh, they're, yeah, at the team, yeah. they're at the team Yawn table. Vaughn is wearing a navy blue yukata, and Fawn is wearing a crimson yukata. Oh. Nobody cares. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ma Mozzie ends up going and sitting down with this team, and uh, you, you know, Taki kind of waved for a minute, but then he, he put down his hand and just kind of, Aww. you know, continued chatting with this team. No, Taki. Look, Taki just needs some courage juice, bro, and he'll be fine. He's got this, bro. He's got this. Bro, he already asked her there. Like, what is the problem? 
I think I think he's just got cold feet, bro. Because now he's in he's in the scene. You know what I'm saying? He, he's he doesn't know what move to make first. I don't talk to him. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Dungoon kind of speeds into the room and he looks pretty fine, but he kind of stops. Then hmm. he goes to your table. <laughs> what do you think of me changing my outfit? Would that be good? Sorry, hello. Huh? I think you nobody know, cares. Good. <laughs> and then he spins, Who are you? And Go he, for his it. His outfit changes into yellow. I called it. Yes. Much better. And then he speeds over to the on table and sits down. I feel like he was gonna do that anyway. What a weirdo, man. That was weird. <laughs> Anyways, I forgot to mention this. I forgot to mention that Blazer is also wearing the exact same outfit. Uh, of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Well, the Reaper's always ready to party. Yeah, it's the Reaper, yeah, it's Reaper uniform, dude. You don't change yeah, that. Exactly. <laughs> but you do notice he's kind of just looking down at his plate. Aww. Did he oh, find man, a bro. date? That's the better question. Nope. <laughs> bro, you I'm probably have to touched go ask your microwave him. steak. What's, what's the matter? <laughs> uh, Staten is also just wearing the same old, like, Mr. Glue knockoff uh, attire. Oh my gosh. Bruh. <clears throat> it is now time for dessert. All the dessert you can, and if you wish to continue eating the, uh, dinner, of course, you are more than welcome to, but it's time to bring out the cakes, the cookies, the brownies, the cupcakes, all the desserts you could ever desire, the ice cream machine. <clears throat> and then more and more food is brought out for everybody. <sighs> uh, who's gonna bring out all three monkeys to his hey. fucking detriment? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna say. And you see, like, the, the color from his face leave a little bit. Now look, y'all have done very well since we got to this floor. I'm happy with the performance. Don't let this go to your head and eat as much as you want. Let's go. Get they, out of my um, don't do they, 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 um, you didn't even finish the sentence and they're already off. They're off grabbing cookies and, and causing havoc. People are like, and, like puts a hand down. like a hand over her mouth and she's just like, oh no. <laughs> 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 uh, Damien, you, you look down and you see Hraysvelger hop back up and he has a freshly cooked bag of popcorn and he's just <gasps> popping it into his mouth. Oh, baby. It's all yours, bud. Just uh, <laughs> don't tell anyone I did that or that you can <clears throat> do that. He just kind of, right. Hraysvelger just... looks over and you see a popcorn vendor up in the corner. All right. <laughs> you, can, you can hang out with the popcorn vendor, all right, B? <laughs> You don't have to be discreet, all right? Just enjoy yourself today. Does he have a bow tie on? Of course He's... he does. Of course. Yes! Any, yeah, Damien, he would have made I, sure. <laughs> Damien, any other details? Is race adorned in any other way? Um. Oh, gosh. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's just say Race Velger has, has a top hat and a cane and a monocle. <laughs> a top hat. Okay, okay, okay. In Cosplay Mr. Monopoly. In addition to a bow tie, is that, is mm -hmm. that fitting? In addition oh, to yeah. a bow tie? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Literally fire. Awesome. While you're getting up and grabbing desserts, for those of you who are, you see the last team, except for Team Fate. Uh, team Sycamore is present. Uh, Damien, you see Fawn Vaughn Sycamore. Uh, she is there. Uh, she's wearing a white chongsum patterned with a branch of red blossoms, uh, and she has her hair tied into a braid. Uh, Sundra's there, Magni's there, Loth is there, Dr. Yen Rising, <coughs> Vulture. Vulture's, Vulture's wearing like a gray waistcoat and a cap. Uh, no. and he's, he, he appears very different. Dahlia is not there. You, you take what? the fact that Dahlia is not present. Damn, my man took his L bad, bro. It's crazy. I think he's out of commission right now, dude. I think so, bro. This man well. who dances is missing a dance. No excuse. Uh, irony. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's everybody that you can see in the room. All chatting amongst themselves. Aiden looks over at Damien, looks over at Leaf. You know, I... You could take your. You, sh you should go interact with your dates, huh? Oh, I wasn't sure if it was if we were waiting for something, you know, because we were all uh, named, you know, we were all seated at these tables and stuff. Yeah, and, and see, but like, <laughs> Leaf, you have it best. You can go like trade seats with Xion, and Xion can come sit by Zhang, and then you can go sit by Siliang, and then. But that actually does kind of make sense. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Because um, we don't want Zhang moving too much, so we gotta bring his lady here. <laughs> you bring up a Eden, I'm fine. I'm not I'll, be right, I'll be right back. And she she gets up and whispers over to Shion. Shion kind of looks back. Mr. Lightning Pill, you are kind of crippled, so hmm. <laughs> she wanted to come over here at first anyway. She was just going with the flow. All right. Perfect. Shion ends <laughs> up walking over and sitting in Leaf's spot, which was next to you. Hey, you look nice. Are you sure you're feeling okay? Because we what? Uh, yeah, no, I'm. Because everyone told me what it told me that you were uh, you you oh. just kind of came back to the. You want to take it back to the sweets already? Huh? Excuse me. Eden. <laughs> she just starts bust out giggling. <laughs> <laughs> We yeah, just forgive. We just Shion. like has a raised eye. He's just taking a drink. He's like, <laughs> Shion is just looking at you out of the corner of her eye, and then she slowly turns back. Don't worry about her. You know she can be. Uh, what's the word? Crazy. Obnoxious. Oh, yeah. yeah <gasps> that works. Too. Obnoxious. Wow. Just don't look at her. She's only gonna get louder. Eden, are you drunk? What, what's no. Okay. All right. Ugh. I'm just. You Wait, know. Hold on. You sure you don't want something to drink, Eden? I'm the only one that hasn't seen the illustrious drunk Eden. Oh no, I can't get drunk tonight. Wait a There's a drunk Eden? I Trust didn't me, even guys. know it was possible. Mm-hmm. There is. I, I, I do want to wanna see it, John. I do I very much do want to see it. No, well, I, I hear you, but you don't. Trust me. You sound traumatized. Uh Hello. Victor Victor looks over. Brack, how are you enjoying your meal? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> <laughs> Feral. <laughs> it's like feral. Oh no! <laughs> are, are you there, Brad? <clears throat> Hello. Hmm? <laughs> are you enjoying your food? <laughs> <laughs> he just hasn't. He hasn't paused to breathe, man. <laughs> oh god. Awesome. Uh, time is passing by. Having your desserts. Go ahead, Damien. I thank God for all the lives lost cooking Brax meals. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Say a little prayer. Take a, oh. take a swig of my eggnog and then bite into the into the bacon wrapped cup. What? You bit the like the glass? <laughs> no, it's wrapped in bacon. And it holds the eggnog in there. Oh, uh, <laughs> wait. So, what is the glass made out of? There's no glass. Bacon. He's saying it's a, it's a container okay, of bacon. Right, oh my god. It's, like a, it's, like a bacon, it's a bacon weave. All right. You see, it would come through, through the weaving, by the way, but All we'll right. go with it. No, no, no. no. This is like a material it's, pop. It's, yeah. it's it's sealed pretty well. It's some real crispy bacon, you know. That would make it yeah, I was gonna say, less. Wait. It would make it even worse, but all right. Mm, it's this the tower. It's sure yeah. good. <laughs> I think the workshop. They know, magic they, on they, that. they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Um, <laughs> eventually, Oreo starts ding, 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 his glass. He waits for everybody else to join in, and people start joining in. Leaf starts joining in <laughs> on the other table. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed your meals. We're now going to push the tables and chairs aside because it is time for the real party to begin, it's time to dance. But first, but first, but first, we have the first dance of the night, which shall be headed by our gamblers and their partners. May our gamblers please rise. For the first time, Brack inhales, exhales, comes up from his plate. <clears throat> My dearest little robot, Oreo, wouldn't it mean that the the gamblers could also have it so that the vice leader could participate in this dance as well in place of the main leader, should they have a date? Well, that's something we should ask our judges. Judges, what do you think? Even like visibly like shrinks at the table. Just like, okay. oh God, okay. calling attention to us. Why? There are judges at this dance? This is part of the test, <laughs> which means I have to perform well. Uh, Charity says, oh, no, I want to see the the, the the gamblers. I want to see all the gamblers dance. Uh, but, and, but, and Mila, but, Mila but, says, I concur. But 
What? Fellow judges. The vice leaders gambled as well, and they gambled for the majority of the second round. So should I, a leader, a person who had to carry his weight, be deprived of something that I've wanted since the start of this workshop, which is just food? He's spitting right now, dude. Find, find the fault in that logic, bro. Now, if you can't say anything, we beat you. Man is using a lot of things to do. Was it that eat? Do you say like, that, is Brad? About to bolt. <laughs> She's about to go. He raises his glass. The gamblers must dance. He just glares at you, Brack. Well, all three judges have spoken. The gamblers must dance. <laughs> Victor's hand is getting squeezed very, 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 very hard under okay. the table. Okay. And the, the leaders slowly start to rise. Uh, you hear Stexa say, Brack, come on, Brack. And she's, she gets up, and Monica's just kind of staring, and then Stexa poke, taps her shoulder, and Monica gets up and walks with her. They brought All this right. on themselves. Brack, just take... take Brack the... goes over to the food section. <laughs> he gets himself... He piles on top of his plate everything that he can, and he goes over... To the dance floor, he sets his plate on the ground. His plate is stacked almost as tall as him. <laughs> he grabs his plate and he starts doing the waltz <laughs> with his plate. They brought it on themselves. They should have just, they should have let the dough and the frog dance together. It would have been magical. But now they gotta watch a man dance with a plate of meat. I mean, oh. technically, Damien and Vaughn are going to dance anyway. <laughs> hey, they wanted the, the head gambler to dance, and he is dancing. Uh, um, Sneff slowly rises. Uh oh. Oh, what? Step, step, step. He's walking over to you, Brack. Hunched, and you're reminded of the footsteps in Artlem. Step, 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 and he's standing in front of you, and you, 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 as a regular, the, 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 you, you can't help but feel a sense of fear. And slowly, he just raises his hand and he smacks the plate to the ground, and the food just goes flying all over the floor. Brack just looks down at the food, and. His bottom lip starts to quiver a little bit, just... <laughs> hey, hey. He, he looks down at the food, then he looks at Snap. It, he just looks back down at the floor. And you see Eden in front of him. Come on, Brack. Did you say something before then, Brad? We might have missed it. Did you did you say something to Steph? No. Oh, okay. he just okay. looks just at him and just okay. looked down. So, no. Sneff is just now he's looking at you, Eden. His eyes are on you. She just has a very practiced, pleasant smile on her face. Brack Brack says to Eden, "No leader." I'm the leader tonight. She grabs his hands. <laughs> it, it's it, it's fine. Shh. I have a plan. She drags him off to dance. Leader, okay. leader, 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 Out leader. Outstrength me, try me. Out strength, out strength, out strength, out strength. I got a plan. <laughs> I'm not giving well, him the satisfaction. I got a plan. <laughs> I'm not giving him the satisfaction of him punching a hole in your chest because, God damn it, y'all just keep doing this shit. <laughs> Hold on, where is my... Oh, there's my character sheet. Uh, there we go. Strength. <laughs> that is a 20 total versus 21. Oh, no! 19 plus 2, baby. No way. Damn. Um, it's a struggle though. Um, Eden, you oh, yeah. are you are overpowering and Brack, you're struggling, but she is slowly pulling you towards the dance floor. Get something so pint sized be pulling something so massive. Get out of the <laughs> For once, just listen to me, okay? 
And you, and you start dancing. Mm-hmm. She puts okay. his big ass feet on her shoes, and she makes him actually dance pretty good. <laughs> at I the expense of her own dancer. feet. Yeah, I was gonna see his poor feet. She doesn't trust him at this point. Uh, and Wu is antagonizing this. Snuff again. Okay, Wu. Wu is watching this, and he's just grinning so big just because he remembers what Eden did to his feet back on the second floor, and he's just like, yes. <laughs> Experience the pain. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Just like, mm -hmm. um, because of your bad role. <laughs> Le uh, Leaf, uh, after making sure everything was cool with Brack, she's dancing with Seal Young. She's leading him, and it's very slow. Just making sure he's, you know, doing what he can. Uh, Fawn walks over to you, Damien. Uh, uh, I believe it's our turn. I stick out my hand and I say, "Are you frightened?" I'm a, I'm a little frightened of the ribbits, but aside from that... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm, I'm not quite sure what you mean, but I take it you want to dance still. Mm -hmm. Which is a good sign. Of course. And she's waiting for you to lead. Oh, no. Then I shall lead! Because I would not want to fail this test! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you head over to the dance floor. Uh, you see uh, Taki uh, leading Mozzie onto the dance floor, but Mozzie looks extremely bored. But he's he's trying to be all upbeat with the dance, and Mozzie's just like looking around, looking at the corners of the room. No, bro, why is she agree to go with him for? Maybe he shouldn't abandon her at the start. You see, I mean, okay, Jerry, that's fair. That's fair. You see that Jerry's uh, walked over to the team blessing table, and he leads Astrid onto the dance floor. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, Jerry. okay! Hey! Okay. Jerry still walked her? Okay, okay, okay shit. <laughs> yo, yo, I, I got it, I got it. Astrid saw the coat, right? And she was like, yo. <laughs> the coat. Dude, yeah, because he has a tan yeah, coat on. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. He's like, all right, game He's like, we vibe, game. we vibing. Like, oh, we this vibing. thing, this whole thing. <laughs> anyway. Uh, and then Maggie uh, walked up with her teammate Jericho, and they're dancing. Yeah. That's right, get wrecked, Maggie. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Uh, and what, the dance is going pretty well. Sneff just slowly sits back down and he's just watching Brack and Eden dance. But eventually, Eden, you feel a tap from, from someone who is pretty short. You feel a tap. Oh, Mind if I cut in? Oh, sure. Oh, with Brack. Absolutely, Miss Charity. He's all yours. And she, <laughs> she just hands you off. She, yeah, goes, she, she, she takes Eden's place. Now, Brack, you are eight feet tall. Charity's like yeah, I'm not, not, not even four feet. She's not even four feet. So, <laughs> what do you do? Charity's not even four feet. No. Oh. So, she's like all she's all like right. three foot. Here we go. It's like here we go. Why? Here we go. <laughs> Brock says, very, very Brock says Charity, how versed are you in the art of dance? <laughs> uh, not very. Not very. Brock says, follow my lead. So, are we going? Do you want me to do rolls for this? Yeah, or? roll performance for me. Performance. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. So you, you're angry about the. You're experiencing a lot of emotions, but Eden did lead the way, and you're able to like do your best with uh, with charity. No. So we doing a mix, we doing a blend. So we start out with kid Aww. and play first. So come back, I, I first teacher the first way. So we come back, he comes forward, holds his foot out. He says, all right, now you kick it. She kicks the side of it. We come back, come back for it again. Kick it, hold, hop, 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 hey. Then we bring it in, come in, I pick her up. I'm like, all right, this is how we gonna do this. Now huh? bring out your lighthouse. She brings uh, out the lighthouse, she yeah. stands on it. <laughs> I, we moving, moving, moving. I twirl her, spin her off, bring her back like a yo-yo. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and we just, we just having fun on the dance floor. We ain't doing no waltz. We ain't doing nothing corny. And then, okay. and then as, as I'm bringing Charity close and I'm spinning around, I just look at Sneff in his eyes. 
I'm like, yeah, I got my own ranker now. Whoa! Oh! Oh, no! I'm gonna, Eden's not, Eden's gonna die tonight. It's great. It's fine. Yo, Goaty, that's so, that's <laughs> the greatest season in the whole campaign. I'm sorry. <laughs> my man won this dance. I don't care what Andrew won does tonight, bro. <laughs> he said, give me that W. Yo. <laughs> I appreciate you, Joe, because that's what I was planning. Oh, really? I was planning on charity to uh, dance with Brack. Oh, man. So, I appreciate you above the table. I, I, I got you. I got you. <laughs> uh, and then, you, you know, you're continuing to dance. Wow, you're pretty good. My husband isn't a very good dancer, so I appreciate this. You're what? You're who? Ask questions, Brack, or I will you murder you. Insight dash? No. You're married? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. For well, how long? Uh, maybe two, three hundred years now. Aww. <laughs> Who is Your he? husband knows that you're dancing with the most studliest regulars who have ever graced oh, this what? tower. <laughs> <laughs> she just starts laughing. Ah, uh, you're so funny, Brack. Brack was being Brack was being serious, but what does your husband do? Hmm? Uh, he prefers the private life. I don't give a fuck. Ah, so he's a private eye. Ah, I got you. <laughs> Take from that what you will. Get a name. Damn it. I don't think she's going to give a name. Y'all keep saying ask it. Ask anyway! I don't know what she wants to ask me, bro. What would your husband's <laughs> name be? <laughs> Uh, I prefer not to give that out. He prefers to live in in so solitude. <laughs> All right, we'll find out the hard way. You brought this on yourself, Charity. This team recall you messing with. Yeah, such a shame. <laughs> well, well, Brax you're all dancing. Huh? <laughs> you're all yeah. You're all dancing. I gotta recall the monkeys because they're taking too much stamina. They're still eating. Yeah, they, they <laughs> had at least like I don't know pounds and pounds of food. Yeah, and before they all leave, I stop Mizaru. You've had your fill, haven't you? Now it's time to do some work. Swallow. Swallow. Go find that insufferable bug and keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't do anything shady. You're telling the blind one to keep an eye on him? He's not bl No, no, no. So, like, yeah. he's not blind. He's not blind. Hey, I had to get to shoot my shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, fair enough. Uh, he he is about to leave, but then he looks at the table and snags a cookie, and then heads off in Bug's direction. All right. Don't worry about that. And I turn to Laura. You ready? You want to dance? I'd love to. You've gotten good at controlling them, huh? All three at once. A lot of training. Nice. But more importantly, I've wanted to dance with you since the 20th floor, and that witch stopped me. I can still feel the caress of her hand on my buttocks. It haunts me to this day. That that did seem like pain. Uh, well, yeah, I could tell that you didn't want to be there, but... Hey, I guess we're living in the present, right? Right. And she, she takes another swig of, uh, of beer and then, uh, let's go. And, uh, Victor walks over to you, Eden, after you, uh, left Brack. May I? Please do. Please save me from going insane. <laughs> just while you're saying that, you start dancing. Mm. Uh, she just looks over you, Jung. Hey, uh, just... Just, you're getting, uh, she seems a little nervous. Good food, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's great. I haven't, uh, well, I haven't had food this good in a long time, actually. Yeah, same, actually, to be honest. Uh, team blessing, blessing, we're not the best cooks, to be honest. <laughs> doesn't surprise me the best is probably jason but i i covered the s'mores oh the s'mores that's right yeah um did you uh 
I mean, uh, if you, I don't know if uh, there's still, if you wanted some more dessert or. Sure, I can go get us some ice cream or something. I could go with. Shion, <laughs> and then Sif and walks up get behind up. her. Oh, see, Sif walks up. What did you say about my cooking? It's uh, very good, Sif. It's like t I was just saying how much I love it. Uh, your your cakes and your and your and Sif's just nodding. I just wanted to make sure. And then she goes back and sits down. The hell was that? She was the head man at the Linquist Mansion, and she fights using like food and stuff, but she can't cook. <sighs> hmm. Interesting. Anyway. Uh, do you just sit down. I'll go get the ice cream. No, no, I can get. Oh. Hey, hey, hey! You just let me get. Just stay put. Rest up. I'll go get the food. Be right back. And she she needs to get ice cream. And then when she leaves, Zhong pauses for a minute, and then he pulls out the the bottle of alcohol that Wu gave him, and he opens it up, and he takes a swig. Perfect. Damien, I'm gonna need you to roll performance for me. <laughs> performance such a trivial thing okay wait actually i got it whoa gotta that's a 19 see. a 25 total Woo! what can i say i really know how to make the rolls count when they need to be <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's flashbacks to the fight last time. oh no um you're you're leading the dance. This is entirely up to you. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. After our fight, I thought I would kind of lose all the goodwill I had with you. Oh, oh no! Did I hurt you that bad? What? No, no. You just, you know, you seemed frightened of me. I wasn't that frightened of you. I just. I, I mean, come on. No, in that really moment, not, you're, you're not intimidating. Not even when my arm transformed, because I, I could have sworn there was the true face of fear right there. That did scare me for a moment. It reminded me of a movie I saw when I was a kid. Which movie? Some kind of horror movie. I, I forget the name now. Did it happen to have a gross face man with a claw hand? Yeah, yeah. One of the people's dreams. Mm-hmm. Huh. Go figure. Bro, she really compare you to Freddy Krueger, bro. That's and with the <laughs> outfit, too, on top of everything else that has so many layers, honestly. Oh, the so is, is that, so itchy. So is that what you think I am? A monster from a movie? <laughs> she giggles. I suppose a little bit, but it makes it more fun. Huh? I mean, I guess it's more interesting, but fun? Can you explain that to me? I'm used to dancing with people from my family or like my brother. And it's always so formal and so strict, but you're it. You're very fun. <laughs> I appreciate that. I do. So you don't see me as a monster then? Hmm? Of course not. Haven't heard that in a while. By the way, what's the name of your little frog friend? Oh, that's Rice Felger. He kinda, you know, eats popcorn a lot. He's real nice. That's cute. Yeah, he's, uh, he's special, that one. How about you tell me more about your family? Levon Sycamore's pretty famous, I hear. Only a little bit. We actually aren't a very wealthy family, but my brother made us a little bit famous. But he's been missing for a while now. I'm he... sorry to hear that. He's alive, I know he is. I'm going to find him someday. He's a very skilled fighter. He became a ranker and everything, so I'm sure he's okay. But... What if the answer you're looking for isn't the reality? Do you think you're prepared for that? Mm -hmm. 
the reality that he's alive and well, I can't wait to find out. And to see that he's doing good in the tower like he always wanted. What I mean is... It's good to think that he's alive and well, but... What if that's not the case? Are you prepared for that? Her eyes start blinking faster and you see tears welling up. I'm... I'm so sorry. No, no, no. She pulls out a tissue. I just... I, can, I, can I take off my neck wrapping and just dry her eyes? I'm sorry. I didn't... I'm looking for someone, too. You are? Yeah. My, uh, my dad, he was someone important in Jihad's army. And he disappeared as well. And that, yeah, that's kind of what started my journey. I'm not really any big deal. I'm not part of some fancy family. But my dad was strong. It would be hard to take him down. Yeah, exactly. He's climbed the tower. And he did special missions for Jihad's army, so... I imagine that's got to make him pretty tough. Then he's sure to be alive and well out there. I don't want to set myself up for anything like that. There is a chance he might not be. But I kind of thought that it was more important to know the truth. That he's alive and well, or if he's gone. And when I figure that out, I can figure out what to do with my life. If that motivation. makes sense. It's what's driving you forward? Yeah. Then you should hang I... on to that. Just like what's driving me forward is finding Gabriel again. I have to apologize for mentioning Gabriel during our fight. I had learned about it right before our fight, you see, and... I thought maybe it could make you hesitate for just a moment to execute my plan. You did what had to be done to achieve victory. Yeah, Even but it was... The penalty was high. The price was deep. I understand. <sighs> well, that's surprising, honestly. And kind of refreshing. Climbing the tower, I'm so used to just... Well, when you climb the tower, you go up against other regulars. Other regulars with hopes and dreams, and... When you go against them, you, you crush their dream. And... I think now I'm just starting to get used to that. Every time you proceed to a floor, someone else is eliminated. Someone else would have been in your shoes. Yeah. It's a guilt that I don't bear, but I understand it. By the way, you're a very good dancer. Oh, uh, thank you. And there's like a crack of lightning <laughs> and the window like flashes. That's, uh, that's very ominous. I don't like the sound of that. Everyone kind of just stops and, you know, for a moment. But then they continue dancing until they hear they hear this these like heels coming from the the grand staircase in the back. So everyone kind of just stops and turns. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, feel free to look at my screen. Oh, actually. Look at my screen here in a minute. Not the wind, bro. Why you gotta bring the wind? Because it's fluxy time! <laughs> Ain't no damn way. All right, look at my screen. Oh, we got background the footsteps art. echoing. Uh-oh. Already best dress. Already, I don't even need to see hey! the Hey! Oh, jeezer! 
Fuck's fault. Yo! She was the... What the fuck? She was... Bro! Yo, forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord, if I have sinned on... uh, Oh, my God. I understand. Hey, yo, chat. Chat, is there still room in the Flux Vault call for me to join? You know? I'm sorry. I repent. After 53 episodes. Please. What Uh what the fuck? All right, you know what? She's slowly walking down the stairs until someone else joins her. Uh, Bool gives her his arm, and the two of them walk down the stairs. Oh, Maggie, see, you missed out. <laughs> what's what's Bool dressed like? Bool, let me pop it up here. Good question. Bool is wearing an open, a purple suit that's open and a white dress shirt, and his top couple of buttons are undone. That man is the most uncomfortable he has ever been in his life. He ain't never <laughs> wear a shirt before. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All this fabric. <laughs> <laughs> and he leads her down the stairs. And they start dancing. I had almost forgotten that there was a team leader who hadn't joined in. Excellent. Always one for entrances, those two. She scares me. She's actually quite a nice person. Once you get to know her. How well do you know her? Uh, We have known each other since the second floor. Well, you must be very close. Yeah. Very. I see. In a lot of ways, I want to be just like her. But. That's neither here nor there. Sorry, I didn't mean to ramble. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm enjoying myself. Uh. Yeah? Would, do you have any other questions about her? She just looks over at her. Not really. I'm just glad I didn't fight her. Uh, meanwhile, Laura is dancing with you. Woo, feel free to roll performance for me. Uh, okay. I don't know what my performance is, and I closed my character sheet again. Do you know what my performance is? Uh, <laughs> uh, what's your charisma? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Okay. That's a 13. 13? Yeah, so you're, you're, you're dancing, nothing, you're not tripping over your feet. You're, you're having a perfectly fine time, and, um, She's dancing with you. Uh, so I don't want to ruin the mood, but do you want to tell me what's going on with your family? You're just dancing back and forth and she's just looking at you. Maybe somewhere privately. Sure. We can go now if you want. Let's go. I'm in. She just leads you away up the staircase to a, an area up there. Wait, one sec. She goes back to the table and she grabs more alcohol. I love this girl. <laughs> um, just give me one moment for that. Um, mm-hmm. this up. So, uh, meanwhile, Victor's dancing with you, Eden. Uh, how is Eden feeling at the moment? Um, she's, she's keeping an eye on Snuff, and mm-hmm. she's very much trying to keep her emotions in check. Cause she, she's, she's good about putting that facade on for parties. Right. Um, but it's slipping a little bit given how the night started. I see. I see. And now with Flux entering, she's right. probably gripping Victor's hand a little more tightly. You handled yourself well. I'm trying. I was surprised to see you help Brack right in front of him. Well, the team sure has a pension for pissing that guy off, and I didn't want to see another hole again. We kind of pissed him off in one shot, one opportunity, and it's 
I could very well see him going off. Well, I'm proud of you, for whatever that's worth. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, okay. Now I'm prepared here. So Laura takes you up the stairs. And there's like, you wouldn't have noticed it from being down there, but there's like little tables up there for people to sit, and there's rooms and stuff, and she sits down at one. <sighs> Am I gonna need like a little bit of alcohol or a lot of alcohol? Like, what do I get mm -hmm. into? Huh? Nothing. Just, uh, you're scaring me a little. Sorry, I, I'm normally more, uh, a little more upbeat, you know? <laughs> well, if I'm being honest, when you sent me that message, I was concerned, but I figured you'd tell me when you were ready, and I also figured you didn't want to bother me before the fight. Well, family problems. Mostly just watching out for my parents. My mom isn't feeling well. She's, um, it's, all, uh, it's any day now and that's okay. I've, I've sort of accepted that, but it's, it's hard when you're someone who climbs the tower like me, you know? And um, my dad isn't taking it very well. And her mind's kind of wandering. About your brother. Leaving me to do it all. Oh, he's 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 just different. They're all they're all different. My whole family is just different. It's fine. I, I, I'm glad I can take care of them. It's just I feel like I've lost a bit of my spark. I feel like that drive isn't there anymore. And that's fine. I, I gotta tell myself that that's fine. You know, it really is fine, isn't it? No. And Wu grabs her and kind of shakes her a little bit. It's not fine. Not at all. I don't know what your relationship is with your parents. And you should be there for them. But that also doesn't mean that you have to give up on yourself. I, I love them so much. My dad, he, and she fingers her necklace. He made me this. And it's something I've shaped my whole life around in a way. It's hard to explain, yeah. When they adopted me, it's like everything was better, you know? People no longer telling me how I should be or act. It's like they actually accepted me. I don't know what that feels like. And the people that gave you that feeling, the true meaning of family, it's, it's irreplaceable. You should be there for them. Yeah. I think I'll regret it if I just leave them behind to pursue my own goals. You gotta follow your heart. You don't have to give up on your goals. As a matter of fact, I'll make sure you don't, but right now, if there's any semblance of regret in your heart for not being there, that'll weigh you down forever. You're right. You're, you're so right. Look, everything I said to you before on the terrace I meant 
And now it makes a lot more sense why you've been so distant. But I really want you to know if there's anything I can do to help you, I'm here and I will be no matter what. Her eyes kind of open wider. She looks like she's going to say something, but thank you. I thank you. And suddenly the doors to the ballroom, they just burst. Like the one of the doors in the back just gets slammed against the wall and you just hear Ha, 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 humming and smiling, and you hear Percy's voice, and you see Smile dancing into the room with Percy flailing behind her. Sorry, no! we're late, everybody! We are here! We are here! And we're here to dance! Right, Percy? And Percy's... He's just like, his eyes are bugging out. And then she just starts dancing with him, like holding him in the air above her. Like he's a doll, like a rag doll, and he's just like, oh... Okay. Let me see here. What do I have on the dock? How's Brack doing? While we're while I'm figuring this out. Brack is uh still dancing with charity for the most part for the okay. leader portion of it. Right. Which which he, and now the leader portion is over, but you can continue dancing for sure. Oh, okay. Brack says, "Have you ever heard of this one dance? It's called." The gritty. Stop this madness. Stop it. No. No, we will not. What does Charity say? Is that a new hip thing with the kids these days? I'm not really a kid myself, but I've seen the dance a few times. I could show you how to do it. Uh, I'd, be, I'd be glad to. Let's see what they do. Let's see what the moves are. So, Brack then pops out his pocket. Pocket. And like him and Charity are like over in like a corner. Yep. Of the ballroom. Pocket. Play. Blah 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 blah. He don't really. See, nobody can hear what the song that he mentions. Okay, all right. And then he shows her. He shows her the moves. He shows her how you're supposed to like dance around a little bit. Then you drop one down, drop the other one down. Then you drop down all the way low to the floor. You 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 wrap one hand around one foot. You wrap one hand around the other foot. You come yeah. back up twirling, and then he says, "All right, now here's it." full speed and then he does it and he shows her he's like all right now you try <laughs> all right and then she just nails it she nails it perfectly he's like all right all right all right we're ready okay. we're ready okay Brack goes back out to the dance floor <laughs> he sends his pocket all the way to the top so that he could get the best acoustics <laughs> it's okay and he he just says pocket play blah, 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 blah. The song comes on. Mostly I ain't mentioning the song because of YouTube sure, copyright. Sure. The song comes <laughs> on. <laughs> and Jess, they steal the dance floor. They're they moving the everybody floor. out the way. They're dancing around and they're moving everybody out the way while they're <laughs> doing the gritty around the floor. <laughs> and everyone just sees this giant man and this tidy woman just doing the gritty. Yes. Uh, it's just it's, it's a sight. It's a sight for sure. And people are like clapping and like watching and uh Jason seems to like it. He's he's clapping hard and he's he's cheering. He's cheering. Uh he's cheering. And the whole time Brock is just looking at Sneff. He he wants Sneff to feel the pain that he feels. You're gonna make me dance? I'm dancing. I'm dancing, all right? You ruined my food, but I'm dancing. Not the way you want me to, but I'm dancing. Hmm? Remember me, Sneff. Remember me. Sneff gets up. 
He slowly walks towards you. Step, step, step. And he taps Charity. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> oh, Sniff wants to dance with you, Brack. Of course you can cut in. Don't leave me with this man. <laughs> Steph Holy just steps. shit! Dance he battle! Just, Dance just, battle! He steps where she she was, and just stares at you. Come on, man! Like he starts tapping his foot. You gotta break out a new dance, Brack. Oh, oh, oh! You're trying to get funky. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what you got, Sniff. <laughs> He taps a foot and then he taps the other foot. He looks at you. And then he taps his foot again and he's hitting like the front of his foot and the back of his foot. Are, are you, are you tap dancing? You got something in your pocket for me? Uh, Brack, I think he wants you to do a dance battle. I think okay. you're supposed to. You, you, can you do this? And everyone has stopped and is just watching. Even Flux Flux. Flux just has a curious look on her face. So Brack goes, all right, all right, all right, I got you. I got you. I got you. Brack backs up. And then he started doing the dance from Poison. The dance. Can you, can you give me a brief description? <laughs> you oh, you don't know. <laughs> <I> don't know. <laughs> So it's more this. so like the running man in place, except a heavy exaggeration of the hands. Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> sure thing. Sure thing. You do that. And then in response, his hands are just in his pockets. And he just starts like tap dancing with his feet. All right. All right. Okay, 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 People okay. Just watch it. Eden, I want to know your. Eden, what, 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 what's going on in your head? Let's cut to Eden really quick. Eden is just numb. She's just like, what the fuck is going on? At the same time, she's like, at any point, Brat could die. This is this is just what this has come to because he continues to antagonize him. And now there's nothing I can do to help. So she's, she's in a state. <laughs> Fair enough. By the way, Sneff is like your height, Brack. Just as a reminder, your your eye. He's level. a foot taller. He's a foot. In taller, fact, he's Brack. a foot taller. Thank you. Yeah. Is it's, it's all it's all good? Is Sneff having fun? Is he visibly? It having does fun? not look like he's having fun at all. Hmm. This is like more. He just a dead expression. All right, all right, Sneff. Okay, okay. I see you over there with the tap dances, and then, but can you do this? And then. <laughs> And then Brack starts doing the beat it. Dance. <laughs> okay. You 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 dance. Can you roll performance for me? <laughs> Give me a performance roll. Oof. Dang, I really would have oh. loved that nat twenty. Mm. It is a seven. Seven, yeah. He's so bad, but then he tap dances and he's he's impressive. He's hitting the move. He does not have like the performer like he's barely moving, but you're hearing the you're hearing all the different sounds and he's just like staying in place, his feet moving. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I see you a little jazz hands action there too. Okay, <laughs> really busting out the moves there, sir. This, all right, I'm, I'm going right. to say this just continues for a little while. <laughs> do you have another thing in mind? Okay, so after after Brack sees him do that, hold yes. up, let me just pre-roll performance real quick. Go for it. Just pre-roll it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's damn, I it fails. One. Come on, dude. It fails. Oh, dude, Horrible. that's... Oh, no. that's... <laughs> Brack was about to pull out the moves that he learned. Like oh, back in his old oh. days, back before, <laughs> back before he entered the uh, the uh, the inner tower. But the, the second, the second he tried to do like the little the little backflip into the to the b boy spin, he lands on his neck and he's just out of the commission. <laughs> oh my god! You just hear a sick wind crack. <laughs> he can't even enjoy his food no more. <laughs> he's just out. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, uh, nurses, please, can we get the nurses here? 
<laughs> and then Sneff just wanders back over to his seat and then sits down. Just can't yeah. let me have my fun, huh? Now does Sneff look like he's having fun? No, not at all. Oh my god. I'm gonna tell your brother I Glue. Him. <laughs> Brack, you get some people checking you and making sure you're okay. They kind of bring you to a corner of the room. You and bully then, this man with dance. Slowly people start dancing again. Uh, Jong, did I imagine that? Xion? I'm not exactly sure what anyone just saw. I might need to purge my eyes. Do you have any bleach on you? No. But I could go get some. That was, um... Duh. I'm not sure what that was. Let's just not talk about it. Agreed. 100% agreed. Eden, what are you doing now? She's just kind of standing there just like, what just happened? Sure, sure. She's she's still just trying to keep an eye on Sneff because she, she doesn't trust what's going on at all. Um, yeah. Before long, uh, someone walks up. You see Bool. Eden, mind if I have a quick dance? Sure. Victor Excuse just kind of motions with his arms. She's like, Victor, damn it. <laughs> And he's just like doing a very casual waltz. Mm hmm. How have you been? I'm fine. How have you been? Busy. Oh, I'm sure. How'd you sleep? Why do you care? I just have a hunch that I can maybe help you. I'm not oh. Force it on you. And what? How? How could you help little old me? We talk in private. He cocks an eyebrow at him big time. <laughs> sure. Just what do you have in mind? He takes you to a corner. Like I said, this is just a hunch. But you have that harp, right? I do indeed. I might know who made it. Oh, really? You have the secrets of the workshop? I think I could give you a bit of help if you want to learn how to use it. Why would you want to help me with that, Bool? I hear you haven't been sleeping very well. And if this harp does its job, maybe you'll actually get a good night's sleep. Oh, you're so kind. So, tell me more. Like I said, it's just a hunch. Just a hunch? He just takes a breath in, and then he just starts, he hums a tune. that went through the mic but people on stream could have heard it i heard it for the most part my tune isn't great but try playing that on the harp okay it's a song that he wrote who's he 
Just an old friend. Come on, Bull. You didn't just take me to this secluded corner to not give me a name. In fact, I did. I'm trying to respect his memory. Someone special? To you? Just an old friend. <sighs> you and your secrets. Suppose I'll just have to keep guessing forever, huh? I think you'll find the answer someday. Probably won't be as special as you think. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, go enjoy yourself. Seems like a fun night. Yeah, with old Skeleton looking at me. Yeah, it's great. Just smiles. Is that it? That's it. The dance is continuing on, and he just kind of smiles at you. And that's all. I'm gonna go see if I can dance with Smile. Good luck with that. She's a very good dancer. Uh, she's kind of just, you know using Percy as a, her own yo-yo, so you might want to save him. Like I said, she's a very good dancer. She knows what she's doing. You do you, man. You do you. <laughs> he smiles, and then walks over. Percy looks out of breath, so Bool steps <laughs> in, and then Percy just... <sighs> that was crazy. He, I mean, smile, I mean... Oh. Hi, Eden. Hello, Percy. How are you? I'm doing okay. <sighs> Good. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. He just goes and sits down on the table. <laughs> she does kind of look concerned as he <laughs> stumbles away. He just looks extremely exhausted. Not like in a bad way, but he's just like absolutely tired. Oh. All of you receive a message on your pockets. Oh, shit. It says, can we talk over by the punch? From a mysterious sender. The punch, huh? We got the wedding music and everything. Shit. Hmm? Will you good? Uh, yeah, um... Weird message. Uh, let me get more punch. You stay here. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Damien, you get the message as well? Ah. A mysterious message I've received. Oh. A secret admirer? Hmm, maybe. I'm, just, I'm, I'm not just quite sure. I'm just uh... <laughs> Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, so how about I've got an idea because I'd like to talk with you some more. I'm going to go over to the punch bowl, but I'm not going to get you punch. How would you feel about a 21st floor specialty? How about you and I have some Tolmy milk? I've never heard of that. Oh, it's really quite good. Oh. It's a special on the floor that I was born on, so. Oh my, I, I have to try it then. I can't wait to see what it is. Delightful. I'll be back in just a moment. Brack, you received the text. I'm going to say they, they the, you were able to get fixed up by the nurses. Like, it wasn't at too bad, but you're, the, you're not going to be able to dance. <laughs> you're not going to be able to dance. Brack is like, good. My plan works successfully. Back to the food I go. <laughs> five head, five head Oh Brack. my gosh. Brack was playing 40 chess the yeah, whole time. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Steph was playing checkers while Brack invented chess. What's happening here, bro? <laughs> uh, Eden, you received the text as well, of course. 
She starts heading over. She's keeping an eye on everything, though. All right. Jong, you received the message? What? What is it? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Some unknown number wants to meet me by the punch bowl. Oh, sounds exciting. Let's go. Here, I'll help you. She gets out of her chair. You can lean on me. It's okay. He gets up. looks a little embarrassed as he puts an arm on Shion. Okay. And she helps you over by the punch. You all arrive. Leaf shows up. And Victor shows up as well. Ah, uh, that's the wrong Victor. Boom. Victor shows up <laughs> as well. And you're all just uh, kind of standing there. Eden is on high alert. You hear high heels clicking towards you, or high heels, or you hear the clicking of footsteps towards you. I'm really sorry about this. I just wanted to have a chat. It's Janice. Knew it. Oh, son of a bitch. <sighs> Janice I leaves and go get his food. I was no, no, in no, the please. middle. I was in the middle of a very important moment. Okay. I, I, yeah. I, can I, you I, just send us an email for whatever this is? I, I want. Please hear me out. And she looks really. Send, syndicate oh. at tower dot gg. Uh, all, in, yeah. all, all, in, all, all inquiries. All inquiries. Send let's, there. Uh, let Let's hear her out. What's going on? Janice? Well, says so Shion. I'm really sorry. What are you sorry about? I'm sorry for... She just kind of bows. I'm sorry for stalking you! What? I mean... Well, you and Team Maggie and... some other teams... And organizations. I mean, Shh. you're kind of you're kind of the to dance around that issue. You're kind of the least threatening one of the things that are following us, Janice. So don't worry, Janice. If we didn't like you, we wouldn't tolerate you. That's just the truth. Huh? Wait, but but you've never mind. It's just what? No, what? Let, let me let me say what? let me say what's on my mind. Let me just get this out. I've realized that maybe. I've placed my whole life into my pursuit in what I think is happiness, but I think after failing in one shot, one opportunity, which isn't your fault, by the way, she says to you, Damien, I don't blame you at all for that. I did my best. I've realized that I've just been taking advantage of you all. Every new story, every test you've taken, and every time you've done something impressive, I'm always just using that to further my own career. When I should be pursuing something that actually gives me inspiration and isn't relying on, <sighs> relying on you so much. You don't want me hounding you. And I didn't see that as hounding. I, I thought it was genuinely me being, you know, a, a good journalist and, and keeping track of the new hot team. But I, I've had a new perspective and, and, and seeing Kusith, that Carmel Kusith, you know his name now, it's just made me realize that maybe I was um, going a little too far with it and maybe I should have listened to him more. That's all. Uh, hey, enjoy your food. Enjoy your meals. Sorry about this. I won't bother you all anymore. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to speak for everybody, but I do appreciate the apology. And I apologize for taking advantage of you as well. Okay? It's not like you were completely in the wrong. You paid us. It was an equal exchange. And I'm not going to lie and say that having you follow us around all the time didn't do a lot for my ego. So I'm glad you've had this new realization. I'm sure the dog will be happy as well. Yeah. I'll... <laughs> I'll report on other things and, and, and whatever I think is good and, and can take further my career, but not at the expense of you. 
you all are really impressive. You've given me a lot of inspiration over the years. But maybe it's time to move on. She's just looking around because we was the only one who spoke. <laughs> yeah. Look, I mean, communication we're... is just appreciated. So you have all of our contact information. So should you want to look us up in the future, feel free. But communication is good. Popping up and surprising us. Not so good. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. It's Go okay. Ahead. Go ahead. I heard I hardly thought we were inspirational, but you are part of the reason that I got through one shot op one opportunity, so thanks no, a lot. Not really. Hmm? Of course. What did I do? You were there. You were my first ally. My only ally, really, at the time. <laughs> I guess so. I guess. <laughs> wow. I guess I helped out Team Recall after all. Yeah, I just, just sound like a fan now. Don't get in our way in the future. We would uh, hate to crush your dream. Uh, wow, yeah. Just... Right? Damien, okay. Why'd you say it like that? Tact. Huh? Okay, Janice, <laughs> tact like is what? not one of our strong suits, just like communication <laughs> yeah. isn't one of yours. Fair, so fair we give and take. We give and take. It's, it's a mutual exchange of, of, of goods and bats. How about this, yeah. Janice? How about instead of you relying on us? and you stalking us, whatever it is you thought you were doing. How about we just be friends? If you want something from us, you come to us as our friend. I could live with that. <laughs> yeah. And if you, uh, I appreciate that. And if you ever need, if you ever need a journalist to, to spread some news, you have my number. Or feed information. Uh -huh. Or feed information in case you learn anything juicy that you think we should know about. I'd be happy to, whether it's strong regulars or teams or, or anything. I'll try not to be annoyingly pestering you, though. Can I That's say, look, the can I say, wait, 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 okay. Dumb question, never mind, we move on. There's no such thing, what is it? Can I send cute dog pics? Of Absolutely. Well, I mean- Oh, well, can you get them to stop growling? first I can't promise that look we'll just communicate however that happens absolutely now you all have a wonderful rest of your night sounds good look after Kusith hope he's doing all right thanks for the screen time see you Janice and then she just walks away she actually just leaves. Like, she just leaves the ballroom. Man, that shit's weird. Go back. <laughs> oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm kind of worried about her, but... Yeah. At least she said something. I'm glad we got to talk to her. How are you guys enjoying your, your night so far, by the way? Since we're all here together. It's lovely. It's mm -hmm. one of those double meaning things that's... No, it's lovely. Oh, okay. Oh, so I was distracted, but what the hell was that with Brack and Snuff? Hmm? I don't want to think about that ever again, honestly. I think I had the opposite reaction, because I think that's going to be etched into my brain forever. <laughs> if we keep talking about it, it'll be an etched in everyone's brain. Brack, I thought okay. you did an amazing job. I... I get to eat now. That's all that matters. He forced me to dance, I danced. I danced the dance that he wanted me to dance, but now I get to go eat. And that's all that matters. You enjoy your meal, bud. You well, enjoy your time with Fawn. Don't look... <coughs> don't look at Flux. You know, I was gonna say, Damien... Huh? You remember, you still owe Flux a dance. I don't think she'll want to dance with me. You won't know unless you ask. That is true. I'll see what I can do. I put my hand on his shoulder. Be true to yourself, man. 
I gotta go though. I was in the middle of something important. Have fun. Uh, yeah, good good luck, man. John, how are you feeling? Uh, honestly, pretty bad. You think you should go back? Here, I, I can take you back if you need to get some rest. No, I'm... Never mind. I'll be at the table. You, you need help getting back there? No, or... I'm fine. Okay. Banner's strong. And he walks back to the table. We have a couple of new guests who have arrived at the ball. Introducing two members of Jihad's army, Scopio Balrock and Longinus, the squadron commander of the first squadron of Jihad's army, here to join us for our dance. We welcome them with open arms. Rock immediately starts crying. <laughs> 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 Since you, I'm gonna, you're the, I'm gonna say because you were at the punch, you were closer uh, to them than other reg than other regulars. So they both walk over to you, to you, to the group. Good evening, says Londrinus. Good evening. Good Does a very formal, respectful bow to a member of that standing in the Jihad's army. Uh, good, good evening. Good evening. Good good evening, sir. <laughs> and and Shion does not say anything. She's just glaring at him. I hope you are all enjoying yourselves. Yes, sir. Very much so, sir. Scorpio, didn't you say that you could dance? Of course, sir. I would very much like to see you dance at some point tonight. Of course, sir. Can't refuse an order, now can you, Scorpio? Lodgeness, <laughs> my guy with the W, he said, yo. Lodgeness is way to the top of the tier list, bro. Lodgeness is GOAT. Lodgeness is my new best yeah. friend. Lodgeness said, I was in the Discord chat recently, and I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> help with notice. <laughs> And then he, he just says that, and then he just kind of walks over to talk to Charity and the others, but Scopio remains behind. Are you doing well, Mr. Scopio? <sighs> Frankly, I can't wait to get back to normal, but at the very least, these games have been somewhat entertaining. Understandable. He just looks at you, Eden. She's kind of like, has a neutral look on her face, but she's like, uh-oh. <laughs> her initial instinct is, uh-oh. <laughs> Eden, I'd like to talk to you. Would you mind Close joining me on the dance floor? Absolutely. He just holds out his hand. And she takes gracefully, it. And he very lightly leads you over to the dance floor. She lets him lead. Just, she, she, her eyes are wide as she's just walking, watching them walk over. Yo, so I'm on the balcony, right? Yes, yes. I got my pocket recording right through the beam. <laughs> okay. okay, got. I'm zoomed in. You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the observer, uh, the observer. The, right, yeah. That's what I meant. That's what okay, I meant. Okay, okay. Has a higher resolution. <laughs> right, right. The pocket Looking ain't out got, for the you. Pocket <laughs> ain't even got no camera, bro. The pocket's busted. <laughs> <laughs> You just need one of those new eye pocket like 14 maxes right, and you'll yeah. be good. You'll get like 14 yeah. cameras. Yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. I, I, ha I have a flip pocket. I can't. <laughs> oh my God. I'm very good. <laughs> Does Brack have a Nokia pocket then? Brack's pocket is like old. That trans like a, a grade E. <laughs> <laughs> so Nokia or like a Blackberry, it would work. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So as you he leads you over there, but you, when you go back, Woo, uh you you head back to the balcony. Uh Laura is there, and you just see her uh glugging down the, the beer. <sighs> hey! What was that about? Uh, new friend. Or I guess an old friend that then is a new friend. Uh, Janice. Okay. Jan Janice. Janice apologized. Janice. Oh yeah, you told me about her. Okay. Yeah. She's the one that's always on the news. Wow, you got friends uh, in high she's... places. <laughs> and you are getting pretty drunk. Not that uh -huh. I should talk. What do you mean? I'm just, I'm just, I've only had a couple. It's fine. Hey, you want to go dance? You want to go up there and dance? They look like they're having fun. And she points we over at uh, Smile and Bool. And, and the others all just having, you know, having a good time. I'm like, I grab her a drink and I set it down. I'm like, yeah, sure, let's go. Lead the way. Oh, we're getting drunk, Laura. Let's go. You lead her there, and you start to dance, and she's obviously, you know, f f she's getting pretty drunk at this point, uh, but you're, you're doing your best. You're dancing. There, you, people at this point, it, they've kind of scattered all over. You see Loud and, <laughs> loud and Proud are still one unit. They're one unit. Uh, they're all sticking together, and then plus Vixen, you know. Plus the Vixen. boys. Yeah. Dude, Loud and Proud is just a bunch of high school boys, bro. That's <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> notably, the only one with a date is Min with uh, with Vixen, so uh, there's something to keep in. And they, they, yeah. Vixen looks like she's having so much fun. She's she's Great. laughing. And, yeah. She's infiltrated the squad. Let's <laughs> Shout out to Min, bro. Shout out to Min. <laughs> she's been accepted I, into the fold. I forgot to say that Vaughn, uh, his date is Lotha, uh, the person that you fought oh. with, the demon, oh. the demon girl. So, take, oh. you know, he, he's dancing with her every now and then. Um, Fitting so he, pair. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Laura is dancing with you, and she she seems like she's having fun, you know. Just kind of she closes her eyes, but then you hear a voice behind you, Woo. Sarah. Hmm. And then Lo Laura just stops, and Hugo is standing behind you. His eyes <gasps> are wide. No way. I... And Laura's just looking at him and her eyes are wide. Ain't your girl no more. <laughs> it's over. It's raps. You know, it's her brother, you fool. She... She's just staring at him. And then she walks up to him and she slaps him across the face as hard Ooh. as she can. Damn. And then she storms out. Of the room. Uh, I'm gonna go after. Okay. He was just standing there. Okay. At this point, she's like running out of the room. Uh, but you're you're able to keep up with her. You almost bump into some people. She she runs out of the room and it looks like she's heading towards the elevator. She's just like pressing on it. Hey, come on, hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. And I grab her. Hey. Let me go. Please. Let me go. And I, and I let go of her. Don't run away from me, please. Just tell me what's going on. I want to help. I can't. I can't. Of course you can. You can tell me anything. I can't. I can't. Why? Why can't you? She's just holding her, her necklace tight. I can't. And I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry. I, I thank, thank, thank you. Thank you for the great night. Uh, no, I, don't do I, don't do this. Don't hide. Don't lie to yourself and don't lie to me. I saw what happened. I have my own idea, but I want you to tell me. I want to be there for you. I don't even know anymore. I can't. I can't. It's hard. I just need to go. I need to go. Okay. 
boca. Ay, ay, ay. And she lets go of the necklace and she kind of like reaches her hand up and she touches your face. And then the elevator dings and then she turns around and heads into the elevator. And the doors close as she's facing away from you. And Wu just kind of puts his hand where her hand just was and falls to his knees and starts crying. Now, could everyone else on the team roll perception for me? I don't even know why I'm rolling. You know, it's just going to be another nat one. Oh, uh, Milio. So, sure. It's an, it's an eight. That's not bad. Natural 20. Natural 20 from Eden. Damn. We have a dirty 20 from Damien Jong. 24. <laughs> oh, okay. A dirty 24. Let's go. That, you didn't roll a nat 20, right? No, I did. It's a nat 20 plus 4. Oh, okay. oh okay. wow. Okay, okay. I wonder what my bottom um, is. Let's interesting. Interesting. Uh, interesting. Mine would be a plus 5, so for 25 total. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, Jong. High fives. <laughs> you... Uh, I'm gonna we say, so Breck, trauma. Breck, you're the only one <laughs> who's just too absorbed by food. Uh, I'm gonna say you di You may have heard something and kind of looked over, but uh, is it safe to assume that food is currently what's on the mind for you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Um, Eden and Jong, you, whether it was your positioning where you were or like you were just, you, you took note of Hugo, you saw the entire thing and you heard everything, Laura storming out, Wu storming after her. Damien, you also saw it all happen. Um, pretty much just as well. Yeah, you all saw it happen very clearly. That will be a conversation with Wu for another time. I've got to get this Tommy milk to the fawn right now. <laughs> Victor uh, comes back with an ice cream cone for you, Eden. Well, I, aren't I off with Scopio at this point? Sorry, I am stupid. <laughs> Where's Eden? <laughs> with a ranker, a high ranker yeah, to I'm boot. Sorry, I, I no, no, no. Totally, you will not take yeah, yeah. We're me. cutting to you in a minute. I. Victor uh, gives Leaf an ice cream cone. There we go. He gives it to Leaf. Cute. Uh, Damien, you you head over into the salami milk. But first, Eden, you are with Scopio. He's preparing to get into a dance. She's what falling. Oh. Do you have a preference? Surprise me. I bet I can keep up. He doesn't smirk, but it's you. Roll performance for me. All right. Oh and man. It, and it's it's not as if this performance will dictate everything, but you know, just okay. for fun. Okay, not bad. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen, sure. So. This is not intentional, but he's leading you through a series of dances that only the highborn, the nobility yep. would know. Uh, and some of them uh, you would know very well from your childhood mm. and from growing up, but others may a little foreign to you. Uh, maybe, okay. you maybe you've danced once or twice when other families would visit or something, but mm. uh, you, he's, the way he's leading you is so graceful and elegant. It's as if he's a completely different person. The, the stiff or lazy Scopio is gone. He is leading you around and it's, it's beautiful. Everyone's stopping and looking and kind of turning. And it's the two of you are creating a beautiful scene as he's twirling you and he lifts you and, and mm -hmm. you're following him so easily. And it's a beautiful sight as he's leading you through dance after dance. Your flame. Yes, sir. Your flame hasn't burned out. The embers still remain. And I'm happy to see that. I, uh, think I might have just kindled the wrong ones. 
continuing to dance with you, continuing to dance with you. I watched a recording of your fight. Ah. For certain reasons. I hope you enjoyed the show. There was a certain technique you used that looked quite taxing. However, it was impressive. Thank you. Overall, I thought you did a fine job. Better than I would have expected. It was <laughs> promising. Well... Not gonna lie, I had my suspicions about him, but still wasn't sure that he was the number one E-rank regular. Did as best as I could. Today's, or yesterday's showing, showed me that I was still very much out of my league. Perhaps, but overall, you're going to suffer losses in this tower. Everyone does. Various forms of losses. You cannot let them... You cannot let them bury the embers that you still have. And I'm happy to see that you can still rekindle it. After all, you have them. He motions over at Damien, walking over to you, fawn the Ptolemy milk. Eden sees the Ptolemy milk and inside just dies. <laughs> She's like, God damn it! <laughs> just, not a hair is out of place, though, on her on her head though she, sure. she keeps it very internal but she's just yeah. like oh my gosh <laughs> yeah, yeah. companions are good they will keep you on track companions can also be liabilities if you get too attached very true finding the middle ground is very important I do admire and the way they care about you, it's very obvious. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why. He just rolls his eyes. Oh, come on, Scopio. Hmm. What's the matter? <laughs> and she, like, genuinely laughs and smiles at him. She's like, the eye rolling, come on. We're at a Force. formal party. You can't be rolling your eyes. She just winks at him. Force of habit. We are an exasperating bunch, are we not? I believe that Mr. Frog over there may have asked more questions in one day than in my entire career. <laughs> yes, I think he might have. Although, I'm sure his father would be proud. I'm sure he would be. I know it's not my place to ask, but any information on him that you would be willing to part with? He's also one that hides behind a mask. He's a little better at it than I am. Why don't you ask her? And he just lightly nods his head towards Mila. He's tried that, unfortunately, and led to bad things. She's a prodigy. The way she uses the Yon Flame is unprecedented. She uses it to boil the blood of her enemies. Quite fascinating. Oh. Well, you didn't know. I certainly did not. She's certainly That's a, a powerful regular. Definitely out of our league. For now. I would keep young Damien away from her as well. I think he's learned his lesson, to be fair. You're a very good dancer, Eden. I only Thank hope you. that you continue to fan your flames. <laughs> and he kind of just ends the dance, gracefully lets go of your hand and gives a bow. And she bows back. And then he just turns to go sit at another table. Now, Damien. 
I swear, I, this is really good. It doesn't look very appetizing, um, but I swear. Um, could you, could you, what, what's the taste like? What's the texture like? Is it, is it, um, is it alcohol? No, wait, no. What, Joe, remind me, I'm just gonna, can I just take a sip of mine real quick? <laughs> yeah. It was like, it was like, if I remember correctly, Tommy Milk was like sweet, right? <laughs> it, or am it's, I crazy? It's definitely sweet. Uh, very thick. Very, very thick. Uh, that seems to be the mm -hmm. dividing feature of the texture. So, have you ever drank pancake syrup? <laughs> have you ever, have, I, 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 like, you know, it's, it's kind of like that. But it comes from an animal. Let me rephrase that a bit. <laughs> what? what? What are you doing? It's really good. I grew up with this stuff. I would drink this like almost every day. It was such a treat. That explains so much. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> it's all falling into place. I suppose I'll have a sip. Yeah, I don't hate it till you try it. She takes it. She takes a sip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I... Oh. Uh, um, uh, um, I, I, uh, it's uh, um, okay uh, if you don't like it. I, I, I don't. In fact, I'll be right back. And she slowly walks away. <laughs> I guess I'll just have two glasses then. Mind if I have one? And Flux is next to you. She holds out her hand. All right, I hand it over to her. All yours. And she just takes a huge swig, gulp, 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 until it's done. Puts the mug on a nearby table. Thoughts? Absolutely delicious. I know, right? It is quite good. I'll be honest, I did not think you were going to show up to this. I miss out on the opportunity to spend time with my friends and family. I to guess be that's honest, true. this is my first time attending such an event in this manner. Am I well, wearing the correct attire? Uh, yes. Yes, you are. Smiles. Whoever did your hair, also very good. That would be Glorfin. Man, Glorfin's got some talent, huh? Glorfin has a dream of becoming a barber. Oh. Well, I mean, I think that he has, he has, he, he can do it. He could do it right now, even. I can. Now, back on the second floor, I seem to recall learning some lessons from Eden and Wu about dance. Would you like to test them out? <laughs> Why, yes, I would. I welcome the challenge now. In front of your date? I am not the meek boy that I once was on the second floor. I'll have you know. Fawn wasn't the date, Milios. Fawn wasn't the date. It was no. It was all part of his plan. He was got the Ptolemy milk to remove her from the situation, yep, yep. so he could set up for this. Yeah. She grabs your hand and you walk out into the dance floor. Give me a performance check. Here we go. Twenty-one. Huh. I really do roll it well when it count when I need it to count, you know? Yeah. There you go. It's weird. Only for the right moments. Only for the moments yeah. that I really, really need it to right, count. Right, right. The dance is going well. It is going well. You what kind of dance are you initiating with Flux Volk? She's letting you lead. Um, we'll go into a, a ball a standard ballroom dance. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, in 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 like a flash, we we go into the default dance. 
And then back to uh, and, and back to the ballroom dance. Okay, okay. Default dance meaning, like from Fortnite. All right. From Fortnite, Joe. I, I, I don't this know is if that why we can't. Yeah. This is there why we some, can't have nice silence. I needed the clarification. I think I get it. No, I think. Okay, I all right. Yeah. yeah like yeah. from from the second. game, you know. The game Fortnite. Yeah. The battle yeah, royale, yeah. right? The right, 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 right. Okay. Cool, cool. The dance you get at the start. Perfect. Back into the ballroom dance. Yep, of course. Thank you for being such a good friend to me, Damien. Even if I've let you down. You have not let me down. I was worried about you. I've put you through so much pain. Undeserved. And you've taught me so much about being me. I'll never be able to repay you for that. I have a confession. When we fought, I got a glimpse of your memories. Tell me, whose golden eyes were those? She slowly stops the dance. And then she whispers in your ear, Did you feel it? I don't know what I felt. Good. A man that I'll never forget. King Jihad. Was that the answer you desired? Is that the truth? Have I ever lied to you, Damien? Then, then, how, how do I save you? Save me. <laughs> I've already been saved. I don't follow. I'm right where I need to be. With, and then she looks over. Where are they? Hmm. Perhaps it is time for me to leave. Who are you looking for? My family. Percy, Ooh, Glorfin. Glorfin. I pull, I pull Fluxvolk very close to me, and I whisper in her ear. Scopio, Scopio, and Longinus were here not a moment ago. Does that would that have anything to do with it? I'll be going now, Damien. Wait. And she lets go. Good luck in tomorrow's game. I hope you win, truly. <sighs> and she starts to walk away first, backwards, and then out of the room. Percy runs towards her. He, he appears out of one of the doors, and he whispers something to her, and she nods, and then they leave together. I'm just clutching my fist against my forehead. God damn it. Okay. Um, okay. Wu, are you still in that hallway? Wu is slumped over in front of the elevator. Right. And he's still crying and drinking profusely from the gourd, which he had not touched except to cheers with Jong in many minutes. You hear footsteps approaching. 
you see it's Percy, it's Fluxvalk, and it's Glorfin. And Percy's saying, this is serious. We really, uh, I mean, uh, come on, let's go. And they approach the elevator. And Fluxvalk is just looking down at you. And Glorfin's kind of just looking away. Doesn't say it. He was going to say something. He just says nothing and looks away. Ding. They head into the elevator, and then eventually Bool also jogs from the dancing room, and he heads into the elevator, too. And the door is shut. Uh, Jong, what are you currently doing? Um, Jong is sitting at the table where, like, the... The table the team recall was at he's holding the bottle of alcohol that Wu gave him but he's not drinking it he's just kind of staring at it as he sits there okay let me see here okay victor sits next to you hey that was pretty rude want an ice cream It's chocolate. Ah, come on. Every time I try. Huh? I just want it to be normal tonight, Victor. I just want it to be fine okay average but I don't know how when I was out there on that arena with Boris I felt a little bit of fear More importantly, I felt amazing. And that feels a little wrong for me to say, but I felt so powerful. And right now, I feel the same way I felt this whole climb. Weak. While you're saying that, he's like licking from both ice creams so they don't melt. <clears throat> you are an idiot, man. First, for not eating this delicious ice cream. And secondly, because you haven't learned anything. Just when I thought you were making some progress. And here you are, stuck in a slump. I saw what you did. You've moved and grown far beyond what we expected of you so soon. You've made progress. And there's a person who really cares about you here. And I'm pretty sure she'd appreciate it if you spent some more time with her. But hey, that's just a brother's advice. Take it how you will. Keeps licking the ice cream. You know something, Victor? You're really annoying. He just kind of like holds the ice cream up. Now, if you'll excuse me, John starts to stand up, still wincing a little bit, but kind of working through it. Mm -hmm. Got somewhere to be. And he walks away. Where do you head? He heads over to wherever Shion is. Shion is sitting at the team blessing table, and she's just kind of like sitting there, her hand in her hands. And Jason's sitting next to her, just like talking and talking and talking. 
And John walks over to the table, walks over to wherever she's sitting, and he just goes. <clears throat> she just looks up at you. And he holds his hand out. Jason's just talking and talking. She looks up at you. I know I probably don't deserve this. She takes but... your hand. And then Jason finally notices. Uh, oh! Okay. Are you sure you're going to move all right? Don't push yourself. Well, if I fall, I guess you'll have to catch me. She smiles. Yeah, hey, you two, have fun. <laughs> yeah, see you later, Jake. <laughs> it's it's actually a... Uh, and then you fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I couldn't, bro. You gave me a loaded gun. I couldn't, I couldn't resist, bro. I couldn't. <laughs> Alright, give me a performance roll with disadvantage. Alright. Let's see, wait, where's my... Performance. Oh, okay. Well, that was... Ooh, okay. Uh, what was performance again? Performance, performance. Damn. Uh, 12. 12? Okay. Uh, with disadvantage, not bad. Uh, yeah, you're... Yeah. Considering how injured you are, you're pushing through the pain. The alcohol helped, uh, helped you deal with it. And you're able to very slowly dance. Nothing crazy. No, like, you know, you're not, like, uh, doing, doing anything, uh... I'm no Brack Bronson, but yeah, I'm... you're no Brack Bronson, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, you're, you know, you're like slowly dancing, and you can tell she appreciates it. Um, while this is happening, ding, 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 ding on the wine glasses. I have a quick announcement to make. If all of the gamblers and their vice gamblers could just very quickly meet me in the in a certain room. Uh, up on the balcony, there is a room that I would like to speak to you all with. It'll be very brief, and we'll continue the party afterwards. If all the gamblers and vice gamblers, if, if the gambler cannot make it, or, yeah, 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 just please meet me there. And then he gets off his thing and hops up the stairs and goes into one of the side rooms. Well, is I separated me from my soup, my food for so much. Uh, all right. Brad gets up and goes. Damien, do you? Yeah, is Fawn still, like, sick? <laughs> she's not there. She's <laughs> gone. Yeah, all she's right. out. She's gone. Your girl called her right. home, bro. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> Brack, I guess we should probably go. Yeah. Okay. How's your day going? Uh, it was going okay. Uh... Was. Well, I found out something that... I'm not sure what to think about. Hmm. You stayed away from Flux, right? No, oh, actually, we just had a dance. You got daggone frog. Like, like, what is up with you? Like, why are uh, you leapfrogging from date to date? Like, what is... I... She, she asked, so I said yes. You're on a date, frog! I'm sure Fawn won't mind. Oh, wait. Maybe she will mind. Uh, and now think you think about it. And now you think about Come on. Maybe we can still salvage this somehow. Wait, I gotta tell you about the, the, the eyes, Breck. What eyes? The yellow eyes that I saw when I fought Flux. They're... They're King Jihad's eyes. And 
I take it those were the eyes that you saw looming in her past. Yeah. The eyes that caused her great suffering. Hmm. Isn't your dream to join his army? Not my dream, but it's one path for me. Well, I guess one of the things that you got to think about before you take that leap is you'll be joining something that has caused a lot of your friends a terrible amount of pain. It's a lot to think about. It is. But let's, well, let's handle this first. We can talk about this with the group later. Good call. All right. And okay. But before we talk about this later, we need to fix your goddamn date situation. Huh? I can't believe it. What? I can't believe it. I, it was a great, we're having a great time. Yeah. Me, and Fawn, me and Fawn actually have a lot in common. Yeah, and then you, then you started dancing with someone that looked better than her. Come on, let's just go. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, he head off, and we're gonna have a quick. So, Eden, you notice uh, Scopio is still at the table, just kind of watching the dancing. She bucks up a lot of nerve in her own self, and heads on over to Scopio. He kind of just like, does like the double glance. You had more to say. I do, Mister Scopio. I'm gonna cut with my own bullshit and like her facade drops. Like this is more like second floor Eden. I don't ever want to disappoint you again. And that whole fight against Dahlia was to make you impressed with me again, or at least I hoped. I want you to help me forge me into a ranker with a steel heart. I'm really good at following orders, and I can be whoever you want me to be. But I want to be someone with the strength that can actually protect my team and not burden them with my own problems. You were right. You were right when we talked previously. If you asked if that Eden was dead, like we just talked about, I, I killed off the wrong one. Help me revive the one that was on the second floor. And I'll later rest the one that should be with her daughter in the crypt. And she holds out her hand. He's giving you a long look. And obviously and her, you're nervous. Yeah, her eyes are bright red, though. After he stares at you for what feels like hours, but it's probably just a few seconds... He shakes your hand. Win the workshop battle. Then we'll Done. Talk. Done. Excellent. Then I'll see you soon. She bows to him again and bows to Longinus, who's probably near him. Yeah, he's up talking to some other other rankers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. And she she looks determined as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Brack. You and Damien head into the room that Oreo is in. All the team leaders are there. Zillion, Vaughn, and their advice gamblers for the most part, like Fawn. Team Fate's not there, notably. Um, but every other team is present. Maggie, Jerry's, they're all there. Blazer with Stexa. Blazer, for the first time, looks like he has a little bit of fire in his eye. He's kind of like reloading his gun. So Why did you bring the gun to the dance, Blazer? The Reaper never st uh, Never mind. <laughs> and uh, it's a very dark room. Uh, and then Oreo phew, pops up at the end of the long table that you're all sitting at, sitting at. Welcome, gamblers, regulars. So far, your matches in Battle Gamble have proved to be absolutely extraordinary. Our rankings and ratings are through the roof. But we still have one more. If you get in my stomach growling, I apologize. We still have one more game left in workshop battle. Now, 
Battle gamble involved, all of you. Gambling your points. Betting to see how many points you could garner before the final game. We're going to have one final match where all the teams have to face off against one another. However, there are three teams that tended to underperform compared to the rest of you. And these teams, let's just say they can't win in the usual sense anymore. Instead, this is very important for you to know, they will be subject to a draft. Could I have the leaders of Team Yawn, Team Loud and Proud, and Team Blessing please stand up? Little Yawn, Super Bunny, both of you? Vaughn does not look happy. And Taki no. just stands up. Wait, wh wh what do you mean by draft? And then Soyoung stands up. I knew it. She almost should have gambled. He's just talking under his breath. The next game of the workshop battle is going to be a fun one. Let's go over the rules so you're prepared for tomorrow. With that, everybody, we're going to end the episode. We're going to end no! episode 53. If you want to find out what happens next in the workshop battle in Towers and Gods, stay Gotta join us. tuned for 2023. Yahoo. No! Yahoo. Yahoo. <laughs> it's quite late. We started later than usual. I want to thank the cast for being... You know what? It's the last episode of the year. I'm not going to get too mushy. I want to thank the cast for being awesome. Thank you all so much for providing so much uh, amazing. You're such an amazing addition to the show. Each one of you brings something special. And uh, I'm very privileged that you're spending so much time here. Every Friday that you're here, it's, it means a lot. And um, I want to thank the people in chat for, for staying, staying with this series for so long. Does anyone want to say anything? It's the last episode of the year. Yeah, and I'm going to get mushy because cast... Y'all are amazing and have become some of my bestest friends, and I love you all to death. You bring so much joy and happiness to me every week, and I love you all, but I'm going to focus the compliments on Joe, because Joe, okay. this wouldn't uh, have been possible without Joe. you. Other nope. Joe, nope. let's freaking This go. is Dr. Bonehead no, 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 Joe. No, 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 Other no, no, Joe. No, 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 Bone no, Miku no, Joe. Back. Bald Head, Dr. Bald Head. Oh, oh, all oh, of the names. Far. That's too far. Stop. Look. If it wasn't for you, sending me a little Discord message about a year and a quarter ago, um, I wouldn't have such an amazing experience of putting together a character and being part of the story, meeting these amazing people. And so all of that is thanks to you and your creativeness and your absolute talent at DMing and keeping this whole boat running when I beg for, you know weekly episodes from bi-weekly episodes and then i'm like i want two a week but you're still never gonna re you know do that request but so you know it's okay it's okay once a week is okay i can deal with that but seriously though thank you so 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 much the community and everybody the cast everybody this has been so amazing and it's such an amazing experience for me let's keep the ball rolling in 2023 i want to see all your beautiful faces there with Thanks, your fan yeah. art and talent and dming and castmate skills and all the love and awesomeness so i love all y'all very very much so big hearts and love and hugs to everybody big and have a love. merry christmas happy holidays and all that fun stuff yeah. we'll see you in 2023 yeah absolutely yeah thank you hannah I'm anyone else want to say anything <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, Towers and God is a great alibi to uh, for me to get away with uh, murders. Oh. So uh, thank you. Very nope, much. nope, that is YouTube it's, censors. Uh, that's a joke. It, it gives me a really good uh, alibi, so the police can't catch. Mm -mm. Okay, okay, okay. He's joking. That this actually is a joke. could like. <laughs> it's a joke. That actually could be YouTube terms of service, Joseph. So please let's dial that back. Thank you. You see the problem with that statement. I guess we didn't talk about that before the episode started, but the jokes we made at the beginning of the episode. Yeah, they carried over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. reminds me, other Joe. We gotta. <laughs> no, yeah. no, you don't have to do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just Wait, agree. We'll, we'll get, we we'll get together. Yeah, yeah. Back to wholesomeness. Back to wholesomeness. We only have a couple minutes. I, I want to keep it brief, but uh, anyone else? Any thoughts? I just want to say this has been a 
an amazing like first year of doing like D D and D consistently, and I've enjoyed like playing because uh, I'm not even thinking about it like as like a big broadcast like type of situation that you have going on. I'm just thinking about it as like gathering with a group of people and just having fun, mm. and that's pretty much what I've been doing for like this past time that we've been doing this and. I just want to thank you all for, you know, having me and us being able to do something like very entertaining and brightening up, like at least my Friday. So thank you all so much. Thank you, Milios. Aww. Thank you. We love you. Anyone else? Are we good? No, we I said that? everything I wanted to say at the one year anniversary. So Perfect. like... Uh, I just hope you guys have a happy holiday, and I will see you when we get back. Mm -hmm. We'll be Thanks, back with a bang. Absolutely. Yeah, take care, everybody. We'll see you in a few weeks when we return with Towers and Gods. Bye, everybody. We'll see you in the Discord. Bye. Love Bye -bye. you guys. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> I don't know.